Hey guys, welcome back to the stream. I haven't streamed on YouTube in a while. It feels weird, man. It feels weird to be streaming on YouTube considering I always stream on Twitch. So, we are playing episode two of Life is Strange Before the Storm. I was planning to pre-record this, but apparently it's like three hours long and I was like, that means I have to record it for three hours, edit it for like an hour and a half, two hours, render it for like four hours. And I was like, it's probably gonna be better for both us, like me and you like the watchers for me to just stream it so I won't be responding to the chat that much during this but yeah let's restart it um I just started it just to make sure it was actually downloaded so we good we good so welcome to the stream everyone and I'm sorry there won't be that much interaction Previously, on Life is Strange Before the Storm. I can't believe Firewalk is playing a show at the old mill. I'm gonna teach this little punk some manners. Hey, dickhead! Get the fuck out of here! Between your grades and your disregard for my rules, I see you slipping. I'm worried. We don't have to like each other. But you will respect me. Hello, Black Hell. Chloe, do something! Hey, do you know Rachel is a gamer? This is my favorite part. How would you like to join me on a little field trip? Don't be surprised, Chloe. If one day I'm just out of here, let me know if you need an accomplice. Damn, they are really going at it. You remember that guy that we saw under this tree with that woman? That was my dad. And that woman was definitely not my mom. Is the audio okay for everyone, by the way? What is going on here? Miss Price, how good of you to join us. I'm so sorry we're late. My, my shift ran late at the diner and then... Just... sorry. Let us proceed. This feels very the awkward. <laughs> is new to the Blackwell disciplinary process. And the other is all too familiar with it. Oh, Chloe. Blackwell's code of conduct is built upon a foundation of mutual respect meant to foster an environment conducive to education and enrichment. When that respect okay. was violated... Reality check time. Yesterday did actually happen. I ditched school with Rachel Amber, and then Rachel really did start that fire. And that was after we actually agreed to run away from here. Right? Are you paying attention to me, Chloe? Um, what? <laughs> Miss Price, the last time we met, an agreement was broken. Do you recall what that was? Um... Don't screw up! <laughs> uh, don't get in trouble again. Trouble is merely the byproduct, Miss Price. What's at issue is your attitude. We agreed that you would rededicate yourself to becoming an exemplary Blackwell citizen. We did. In the event <laughs> that you were unable or unwilling to do so, we also agreed that it would become pertinent to reassess your future status at the Academy. Despite all this, you engaged in the following actions yesterday. Insubordinate language. Witnesses saying you were involved in bullying Nathan Prescott. The hell I <laughs> what? I oh my god. I suppose that's one Nathan's such a little bitch. Say what you will about my daughter, but she is not a bully. Maybe you should be talking to Drew instead of me. You know. The guy who actually did what you're accusing me of? Mr. North's situation requires sensitivity. 
It will be handled separately. And Chloe's situation is less sensitive? I do not discuss other students' situations. We are here to discuss your daughter and her actions. Convenient. Calm, well, reassure our mom. Our mom is the best. Mom, you know this is all bullshit, right? I'm beginning to suspect that myself. I am Go on, sorry Joyce. you feel that way, but your daughter's misbehavior is real and serious. And yet, even with your prodigious disciplinary record, Miss Price, we needn't discuss any of it. We needn't? No, because you severed your relationship with Blackwell the minute you left school grounds. Oh, damn it, Rachel. What does that mean? It means you forced my hand. This is a consequence of your actions, Chloe. I have no choice I but to. I need to do it. What? 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 Yesterday was all me. My idea. I was having a bad day. I needed to blow off some steam, and I took it too far. Chloe tried to talk me out of it. I've been down that road, she told me. You're better than this. She's such a good actor. <laughs> See, Chloe was afraid I'd get in trouble or hurt, so she came with me. But only to keep me safe. <laughs> I'm just sorry you got caught up in it, Chloe. That you allowed me to drag you down to my level. Can you forgive me? Of course. Of course. Yeah, sure. We're cool. Thank you. I'll make it up to you. I promise. Chloe, is this true? It's true. Mm-hmm. Totally not true. She really is an amazing actress. Miss Price? <sighs> yeah, fine. Fine, yes. It was her idea, but it's not like she kidnapped me. We were in it together. Miss Amber, based on what you've just told oh, me, no! I have to punish you. Are you sure what you've told me is the truth? Yes. This can't be the full story, Rachel. Ray! Just to be clear, Miss Amber, you're sure Chloe Price didn't coerce you or. Coerce her? I'm I actually just didn't know. It's Rachel's to idea. The of why someone like Rachel... Oh, I think we're clear, Principal Wells. Someone like Rachel, but not my daughter. Excuse me? Do you have a list of students you assume the worst about? Enjoy the show. You have no right to treat <laughs> Chloe this way. This is because she's on financial aid, isn't it? Let's all just calm down. After everything we... She's been through in the last two years, you should be ashamed of yourself. Miss Price. Mrs. Price. Mrs. Price. I appreciate your position, but I assure you, it is only your daughter's past behavior that has led us here today. I understand, Mr. Wells. There is no doubt that Chloe's behavior must improve. But given what we've just learned about the negative influence she was under, I hope you will allow her just one more chance. Miss Amber, I am as surprised as I am disappointed in you. I understand. This being your first infraction in no way reduces its severity. What? Still, we will not be suspending you at okay, this Okay, good. But you have squandered our trust. You will no longer be my administrative assistant first period. I mean, that and sounds all right, to be no honest. you will be involved in Blackwell's performance <gasps> of The Tempest. No. Oh. What? Literally. Are you insane? Your discipline is still pending, Miss Price. Ray, she loves that show. Since this is her first infraction, Mr. Don't you Amber, think, uh... I don't tell you how to run the district attorney's office. Please don't tell me how to run my school. This principal is the biggest. Ooh. There's a reason we have Dickhead. understudies for all circumstances, accidental and deliberate. I'm sure your understudy. Victoria Chase. <gasps> no! Yes, I'm sure Victoria Chase will do fine. 
That is such... What was that, Miss Price? Chloe is upset for her friend, but we are both grateful that she is not going to be unduly blamed for what happened. There is plenty of blame to go around. Chloe's future at Blackwell will be discussed next, unless you had something to add first, Miss Price. Um... No way is Rachel missing the place Let's see how this goes. Skills, I'll have to go down in flames if I want to fix this. Okay, to succeed in black talk, listen to your opponent and choose a related comeback. Okay, I need to do this right. Get your head out of your ass, Wells. Oh, you seriously think yesterday was Little Miss Sunshine's idea? Miss Amber has accepted her responsibility. Um. Don't you have the slightest idea how this works? You don't wake up one morning and decide to be an outlaw. You need priors. You need training. Rachel confessed. Are you calling her a liar? Oh, shit. I confess she can act. I confess to thinking she can act like a motherfucker. You just bought her crap. Hook, line, and sinker. You don't have to do this. It's okay. Really. Don't tell me what to do. Oh, God. <laughs> I'm a lone wolf. And you're a little red riding hood. Welcome to grandmother's house, bitch. <laughs> Chloe, this can't be you. Apologize this instant. Sorry for making you look bad. <laughs> Mr. Wells, I'm sorry for exposing the flaws in your campus security. This must be very embarrassing for you. I've heard enough. Rachel. You were clearly Ooh. trying to cover for your classmate. I appreciate the motive, but I appreciate honesty more. Is that understood? Yes, sir. You will not yes. be removed from the place. We can't let Victoria do it. Was that so hard? Thank you. And Miss Price, I came into today's meeting planning to suspend you for the rest of the school year with a chance for reinstatement in the fall. And now? You are expelled. Oh shit. Oh shit. What? No. I will have Skip Matthews escort you to clean out your locker. You may wait outside my office until he arrives. Well, we knew she got expelled that in the previous is Life is Strange. Good day, Mrs. Price. Mr. and Mrs. Amber. So I was Ray. sort of expecting it. Fuck you, Ray. Come on, Chloe. I mean, at least Victoria Chase is in the leading role in The Tempest. I mean, that's, that's a plus, I suppose. <laughs> I'm sorry. Nothing to be sorry about. Meet me at the junkyard later? You bet. I didn't get the chance to introduce myself. I'm Joyce. Mrs. Price. I'm Rose. This is James. I'm sorry we had to meet like this. No, I'm sorry. I'm sure for you this is an unusual circumstance. We really should be going. Nice to meet you. Mom, I'm I'll see you in the parking lot. Joyce is mad at us, guys. Joyce is not happy. Hey, Chloe. I'm supposed to walk the out. Just you and me. Hey, Skip. You know I was supposed to have today off, right? Sorry that my totally fair and impartial hearing inconvenienced you, man. Yes, we're going to clean our locker. I don't really care about any of this shit. Except my secret stash. Might as well grab my emergency joint while I'm here. Bongo was a stray cat oh. before you rescued her. Then she got run oh. over by a car. <laughs> Moral of the story, n no one's ever really rescued. So what I'm doing with this playthrough guide is I'm going to be doing all of the options that I can so you can get like the full detail of the story and everything. Right, let's take our little photo of Bongo. 
homework. <laughs> love how every time someone tells me how much potential I have, it's right before saying how I'm wasting it all. Chloe, I need to start seeing more effort from you or you're going to fail my class. The quality of your work lately simply doesn't speak to the amount of potential I see in you. I know you're better than this. Oh man, I remember doing this in chemistry. Damn. I don't remember it now, even though I have a degree in biochemistry, like how to do it. <laughs> Pencil case. Trusty keeper of my graffiti pens. You've served me well. Wonder who will grace this space after me. Right, let's sign this. Curry prize. <laughs> Ten, almost. <laughs> Maybe Cam was the class I hated the least. Well, let's take this. I'm not sure what we're going to need it for if, um, yeah, that, yeah, put it in the trash, yeah. <laughs> Doodle. I had big plans for adding to this collage. Oh, the pirates! Oh. Hmm, if Chloe leaves Blackwell at 11 a.m., going 100 miles per hour, how long will it take her to get as far away as fucking possible? I don't know, I'm not good at maths. <laughs> he just watched me throw everything in the trash. <laughs> I should write a poem to mark the occasion. Something with... <laughs> Im imagery. What's this? Absolutely, positively the best concert of 2008. Too bad it's time to go. And in the trash. Okay. What's back here? Finally. Ah, a secret stash for. of joints. Not suspicious at all, really, is it? Jackpot. Wait, what the hell? Damn it, Justin. Chloe, <laughs> hey, I had to borrow your stash. Desperate times, you know. I promise I'll get you back next week, Justin. God damn it, Justin! Fuck every inch of this place. I wish I could tag it from floor to ceiling. But with Skip watching me... Uh, no, I don't have a boyfriend, no. Uh, bathroom. Then I'm out. Cool? <sighs> okay. But try to make it fast, will you? No, I'm gonna take ages. I'm gonna take a massive dump. <laughs> what are you going to the bathroom for? Trash it? Smash everything! Yes, graffiti! Insubordinate. She's drawing this very quickly. Pretty cool. How that how did that marker last that long? I don't like your attitude, you're pathetic. Oh god.
Victoria looks so different. Yeah, no penis drawing. There should have been a penis drawing, man. That would have made it. Everyone draws penises when they graffiti, right? But yeah, I think I prefer how Victoria looked in the last season. She looked more uptight for sure. Later, Skip. Later. Oh no. We are Looks in like trouble. Okay. L let me read this. Oh, got that. Ah! No, I want to read it. Let's go to the top. Okay, made it into my house while seeing other my parents. Sweet, you were born to be a spy, jumping out of trains and shit. Oh man, would make such a great team. No enemy viewfinder would ever be safe from you again. Haha, <laughs> meanwhile you're deep undercover as a passed out person. Lord, that was unforgettable. Some of it sucked. Yeah, you know what doesn't suck, what? You. Oh, you also don't suck, I know. We should probably sleep, get wells tomorrow. Got wells tomorrow morning. Yeah, my fault. Worth it. Well blows, that meeting hella sucked, you're hella weird. You are. Seriously, it's okay. Yesterday it was worth it. Oh, we got loads of new messages. Why is Wells messaging us? Oh my god. Members of the Blackwell community, please advise that a fast moving wildfire has recently been sighted in the vicinity of Culmination State Park. I've spoken with the Arcadia Bay Forest Watch, who do not believe any evacuations are necessary at this time, as the Blackwell campus is not within the affected area or the fire's current projected path. Please utilise caution while travelling to and from campus. Faculty and staff have been asked to... I don't know how to say that. <laughs> Punctuality requirements for all sports and extracurricular activities this weekend. What's ABF? That's fire update. Elliot. And to the top. Oh my god. Our Spanish test up. We've read these ones. Were you up to? Not much, got shit to do later. Oh, okay, you finished the chem homework. Nope, dude, that's a third time. I already know everything. Hey, why weren't you in chem? Everything okay? Yup. What happened with Drew? People saying you were awesome. Yeah, let's talk later. Okay. Holy shit, did you get Wells text about a fire? You okay? Yeah, you? Yeah, I'm just in my room. Hey, after Tempest, you want to hang out? Damn, Ellie is pesting. Again, Chloe, really? Chloe, you can't keep doing this to me. I'm trying my best. Oh, she's so worried. And like, Chloe's actually being horrible. I love Joyce. Joyce is so nice. See, I thought it was pronounced way, but the eye just threw me off. Literally, all these messages from Joyce. Like, where are you? I need to do better. Chloe, Chloe. Did you hear about the fire? Please text me. Chloe. Oh, she says I'm fine. Like, Chloe needs to treat Joyce better. Joyce has been through a lot, man. Awesome. Right, what can we look around at? Drugs are free here. Oh, man, why didn't anyone tell me before? <laughs> Can we go back up? Oh no. Okay, we can't go back up that way. Well be now. Can we go down this way? Just fucking run for it. Nope, okay. Point. We cannot indeed Very run for it. Now. Announcement. Max would have loved this shit. Because of a generous grant from the Prescott Foundation, Blackhill will be offering several new courses next fall designed to nurture the artistic gifts of its students. Visual concepts, intro to composition, intro to ceramics, intermediate photoshop, intro to character modelling, animation, photography, which is what Max comes back for. Independent study by invitation only. Ooh, let's fucking go. Three guesses whose bike this is, and they all start with Miss Grant. Damn. Don't make me use my teacher voice. <laughs> I don't want to go over spot. to Joyce. Crushing spirits must pay pretty well. Let's graffiti it. Bigfoot head. Taking pride in Blackwell Athletics means taking pride in yourself. 
Also, the trustees and their enormous bank accounts. Well, let's check out this area over here as well. Maybe they'll use my scholarship money to finally fix this pothole. I mean, this car park's pretty small for a massive school. But whenever I needed to bum one, no one here smokes. <laughs> Fuck this place. Who? No more extra Tempest party. Can no more Oh shit, it says all black hole students there. welcome. So guessing Chloe's not welcome anymore. Hey Elliot. Oh wait, fire safety. I guess this fire is no joke. Due to a forest fight so in the area, area, <laughs> Arcadia Bay is on a high fire safety alert. No, you're wrong. Respond to fire alarms immediately. Blah, 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 blah. Hey, Elliot. Hey, Elliot. Can... How are you doing? What brings Chloe He's not the one who took on my joint, is he? Nothing good, I bet. I Just expulsion, really. Wait, really? Holy shit. I know. I'm surprised it took this long, too. Do you want a hug? Sure! Uh, as long as you don't grab okay. anything. This feels really awkward. Thanks. Was Rachel Amber involved? Yeah. And let me guess. Did she get off scot-free? Well, yeah. But she tried to cover for me. Uh-huh. Anyway, what are you doing here? I thought I should come early to grab tickets. For the Tempest? You said Oh, we no, I can't together. go anymore. Oh, right. Can I? I'm not Good a student. Call. Did you get my text about hanging out afterwards? I did, yeah. Um, maybe? Yeah. I mean, I'm not really big on making plans, but... He maybe. seems nice enough. Cool, he seems cool. a bit like a creep, uh, though. Sounds sounds good. I better go. Uh, my mom is waiting to sick her attack mustache on me. Her boyfriend. Uh, don't worry about it. See you around, Elliot. Yeah. Later. Bye, Elliot. I don't know what you're doing, just hanging out in the school parking lot on your phone by yourself, but whatever floats your boat, really. My other vehicle is drama. <laughs> oh, God, that is cringe, isn't it? Jesus Christ, someone's stuff in this game is a bit like... Uh, someone's trying a bit too hard with those bumps. Feline stickers. fister. Fair enough. That's what they do best here at Blackwell. Empty things out and toss them aside. I think we've got it. Oh, no, we haven't. At least I'll have uh, plenty of free time to take up skateboarding again. If I feel like it. All right. Let's go face Joyce oh, damn time. and Step David, Douche. Please. Although he's not really that bad, is he? <laughs> is clearly fighting to hide her disappointment. Which, of course, just makes this worse. Okay, let's speak to her. Chloe, your mother and I have been talking. Can we do this later? I don't think I can handle another fight right now. And who do you expect to handle things for you? Your mother? Yeah. I don't need a conversation. Not with Sergeant Asshat here. I just need some space. Do not use that language with your mother. She's my mother. If my mother has something to say, she will say it to me. She has. The problem is, you don't listen. That is Maybe true. if you try listening to me, instead of fighting me about everything, you might actually learn a thing or two. What? How to be a soldier? Soldiers put family and future above self and now. Getting kicked out of school? That's what losers do. She got called a loser. You had a scholarship, Chloe. Do you know what that means? That's a pretty big what deal, kind of actually. What opportunity you gave up? Do you want to work at the diner? 
Nothing wrong with that. There's nothing wrong with waiting tables, Mom. Chloe, I'm proud to wait tables because it means you can be whatever you want to be. But what is that, Chloe? What do you want? Maybe... I don't know yet. Maybe you've had long enough to figure it out. Right now, what I need most of all is for the two of you to start getting along. Chloe, I don't want to fight. I care about your mother very much. And you too. I'd like for us to start over. What do you say? Sure. sure. We'll do it for Joyce. Reset button pressed. I am glad to hear it. We know that's not true. From now on, I will be assisting your mother in a few areas. Like making sure that you are no longer abusing drugs or alcohol. Uh oh. Oh, Joyce looks Mom. so sad. Chloe, I'd like you to empty your pockets and place all your belongings on the trunk of the car. What the hell? What the fuck? If we are going to start over, we have to know that you are not abusing drugs. If you're not, you should be eager for the chance to prove it. Good thing that guy took my Mom. emergency joint off of me. I don't need more discipline from you. I need my mom. I know, Chloe. And I'm sorry, but David feels... Joyce. We feel this is the best way to start fresh. Let's go, Chloe. Quit stalling. I guess I have no fucking choice, do I? Come on, Joyce. David. I mean, I haven't got a joint on me, so screw it. You want to see my shit so badly? It's not like I'm going to be carrying a bottle of vodka in my back pocket, is it? Amazing. You know what sucks even worse than invading someone's privacy? Doing it for no reason. You're awfully smug for someone who just got kicked out of school. Chloe, I'm sorry. Can you forgive me? I forgive you. You were under a terrible influence. That is I David. I just worry about <laughs> you, but that's no excuse. Joyce, you can't start apologizing now. This will only encourage The her. only reason why I'm so nice because Joy Joyce is amazing. David. We need to start treating each other better. And that means all of us. We need a new beginning. A new chapter. One that will involve the three of us together. Well, what does that mean? We both agree that the best thing for everyone at this stage is for me to move in. <laughs> No fucking way. Chloe, after everything that's happened, uh, I'm at a loss. I need help. Exactly. We need a firmer hand steering this ship. Talk to me, Chloe. Tell me what you're feeling. Um. What am I feeling? They're trying. You're like, David trying. saved Max. I, I so... swear, I do. And I've been making it harder for you. But this is not the answer. It's the only answer I have, Chloe. In a million years, I never thought you'd choose David over me. I'm sorry I took that for granted. I'm not choosing anyone over anyone else. It's about the three of us having a home together. It'll be better than you think, Chloe. Once everything's running smoothly, You'll see what a stable home can be like. I guess you have no choice. Yeah, I played the first game. This is an awkward standoff. <laughs> There is no home. 
Not if he's. Oh there. shit. Chloe. To the junkyard, I guess we're going. She'll come home as soon as her tantrum is over. Damn. David isn't that bad though if you played the first game. You realise he was just trying his best but he sort of didn't know how to do it in the right way for Chloe. He tried to push her and that's not the way you have to deal with Chloe. You have to deal with Chloe in a nice way. <laughs> and she, like Chloe blamed David for a lot of things but David in the end came around and saved Max. How do you know which way is up? when your whole life has been turned upside down. Black Hole's done with me. I can't go home anymore. Is this junkyard all I've got left? It's pretty cool to have a place like this. Like in London, it's so busy, there's never gonna be a place which is sort of just yours. But you can go and just think. It's insane everywhere you go. What are we doing? can fix it. Oh god, I know nothing about cars. If this beast will ever run again. Okay, Chloe, David's trying to do what he thinks is best. He's such a tool. <laughs> I didn't like that he asked you to empty your pockets and then you were completely innocent. Chloe, can you just forget about David for a second? Think about me. Maybe I just need space, okay? Maybe I need my daughter back. That's so sad. And the first thing it needs is a new battery. Okay. if I can find one around here. So it's L2, isn't it? And then we could be... Yeah, that's such a cool way to look at your objective. Right, let's look around this place. Guess I oh, that's freaky. Rachel last night. Amazing that someone I just met could have made me this angry. Because you love her. Max and I used to go there all the time as kids. I think it shut down, but... But it probably no. did because it has a something for lease and the signs in the junkyard. I guess I'll never ride one of these again. That's so awesome. It's so sad because think about her future. Oh, you're a long way from the beach. Don't tell me what to do. <laughs> okay, I guess we won't have a great day then. I mean, it's already pretty shit. Light bulb. I always wanted a pet snake. Instead, I got David. <laughs> Fuck everything. I love the sass of Chloe. Especially in this season where you can, like, backtalk. Ooh, syringe. Here's the side of Arcadia Bay they don't put on the postcards. Um, I would wait for a green screen to arrive for, like, forever now. Hang on, we'll look at that hood in a minute. Wow. <laughs> Shitty ride, drug dealer. I really thought crime paid better. 
Yeah, I've ordered the Elgato green screen. Well, not me, but Chris Moore bought it for me. And it takes one to two months to arrive, and I'm still waiting on it. Placemat. I used to love opening up the diner with mom before school. I guess those days are now officially over. Hmm. I mean, like, you could still do it. All right, let's open these, actually. We'll look for a battery. And if we find it... All right, we can investigate that one. I just don't want to trigger any cutscenes yet. I'm trying to hide under their hood? Oh, oh, shit. We need something to break it open with. Oh, there's a latch. Here we go. Okay, cool. That's the battery that we need. I think this one's like Donzo. This one won't work. Okay, let's look around the junkyard a bit more. Make sure we have everything. This mat has seen some things. Mostly feet. That's pretty gross, actually, when you think about that. And what else is there to look at? I sort of regret how I played the last season where I played it really quickly. I really want to take my time with this one. American Rust. Sounds about right. So that's a truck we need to fix. Shoebox. Oh, what's in the shoebox? What is that? What the hell? I don't know what I need that for, but maybe it's a present for Rachel? No, not going over there. Okay. Where's our dad's car again? Toy robot. It's all fun and games till this guy enslaves everyone. Ooh. Pirate flag. A pirate flag? Wonder if there's treasure buried nearby. <laughs> treasure. Ooh, what's this? I mean, this video's gonna get copyrighted anyway, so I might as well have the radio on. I know one fire that doesn't need any poking. David? You? You're a long way from the country club, guy. What's this? Posters. Yeah, I'm leaving the music no, on for this, this playthrough as well. Vortex club. I wouldn't mind joining. Outcast Unite. Because... The music is what sort of makes it. <gasps> Christmas lights! You gotta love a place where even Christmas looks depressing. I'm so excited for Christmas. This rug has some miles on it. I'm thinking about doing a giveaway actually around Christmas, but I don't know what yet. Maybe I'll buy some like steam codes and stuff. Hood. Have we been over here? No, we haven't. And that one's rusty as well. This is no good. This junkyard's friggin' huge. Bottles, bottles everywhere, and not one beer to drink. I mean, if I found a beer in a junkyard, I probably wouldn't drink it. Sorry, Max. I think I'm more jealous of you than anything. Hopefully, I'll be escaping this place soon, too. Or not. And Max is going to come back because she's stuck with you. Okay, we've gone around in a circle here. So I think we've pretty much explored everything here. Mm, I think I'm all smashed out. For okay. Now. Let's go grab the battery that we found earlier and take it over. Oh, thank you, Casey. You're too kind. I 
I know nothing about cars really, so. Here we go. The pick of the litter. And we have the battery. Yeah. Oh, we could have got it and just not gone back over. Whoopsie. Okay, let's head over and install this battery then. I don't know what we need the little doll for. Ooh. I thought Rage was being us here at some point. I guess not. A bit like right a shithole, yeah. In the meantime, maybe I can spruce it up a bit. Ooh, okay. Well, that looks a While bit I'm grim still, down there. Could be nice. <laughs> I should probably cover over this massive hole. Okay, so we need to fix the rusted floorboard. Probably a good idea to cover over this with some beach towel. We can get the beach towel for that, or the pirate thing. I know someone who would be very happy here. Let's put the singing man over there. You can hang here, but I get to pick the tunes. Okay? Good talk. <laughs> and then we also need to get the bulb from Maybe the snake tank. Another light bulb I can put in here. I think it's red as well, so that's pretty cool. Okay, we can do this, guys. We can do this. Ooh, right. We know what to get because we had a good look around. So I'm thinking. Okay. Let's see what else this trash heap has to offer. I'm thinking the beach towel. First of all. This could cover that torn seat and look awesome doing it. I mean, it's probably really fucking grim, but okay, Chloe. Can this cover the floorboard? No, it's too big. We need the light bulb. You might not work. Then again, I hardly ever work. I wish you could put the Christmas lights up in the car. How cool would that be? Okay, and now we need something to cover the floor. But I actually can't think of anything. Oh, placemat. No, there's a, there's a doormat somewhere. Here we go. Got him! You should cover that life endangering floor hole quite nicely. Yeah, we got everything. Okay, let's head back and spruce up the truck and then show it off to Rachel. You know, she's gonna be very impressed <laughs> with our truck, which doesn't work but looks still relatively shit on the inside. But at least it's a welcome mat on the floor. The engine's fine, right? Not sure what's wrong with the engine. Or how to fix it. Not yet, anyway. Okay, right, we can try this bulb. Did that work? It doesn't look like it worked. I've seen the light. And it's awesome. Okay, let's fix this. Okay, that looks pretty fucking cool actually. She did she did well. That actually looks really cool. <laughs> My passengers enjoy the smell of sea salt and junkyard. Ooh, what a sexy scent. I 
how does this look? Yeah, that looks all right. This thing looks like a rusted out shopping cart. Probably drives like one too. That's if it ever does drive, which seems questionable. Still, how sweet would that be? I'm pretty sure this is a truck she drives later on. But I think it's red, so maybe she paints it? I don't know. Yeah? Right, it's Frank. Oh. Hey, Frank. What's up? Yeah, just checking in to see how you're doing. Really? No. <laughs> of course, it could be like Frank. Where can we meet? What about. Oh, like. Drugs? Christ. I'm hanging out in the junkyard, north of town. The junkyard, that's great. Stay there, I'll see you soon. Okay. And Frank? Is everything cool? I'm not in trouble or anything, right? I don't know. Did you do anything you should be in trouble for? I got expelled. Like, in general, or to you? Okay then. Maybe this is how he meets Rachel. Are we just gonna chill and have a cigarette? Time for a hard earned smoke break. The inaugural truck tag. Let us graffiti this. You only get one chance to make a first expression. Mystical. What's she gonna draw? Illuminati. <laughs> Fair enough. Let's turn this on. Does your truck look like an aquarium on wheels? <laughs> Didn't think so. So we can smoke. Bubble. Does Principal Wells eat pizza with a fork and knife? I knew there was something off about that. Guy. Who eats pizza with a fork and knife? If any of you guys eat pizza with a fork and knife, why? Why? Alright, go on then. Fixing the truck was hard work. Time to kick back and light up when I'm done looking around. Hey, Joe. In my own time, ah, this music. Love the music in this game. such a good song I need to download that later that's a really good song I don't think it's Florence and the Machine oh what's her name I had an email about it but I can't remember what it was shit I slept all day look at the drawing in the back it's like flying Wh what the hell this is really strange. Dad? <laughs> Why is that car on fire in the first place?
dad. I thought it looked her dad. Um, I miss him so much. I wonder if it burned like this the day. Oh, this is the car they crashed the in. The day it happened. Do I feel like roasting a marshmallow? Sure. Why not? Let's, let's have a little marshmallow. Pretty morbid roasting a marshmallow over the fire of a car which you crashed in and your dad died in. Do I even like marshmallows? I mean, you can roast the marshmallow, they're better roasted. This is so strange. Amazing, isn't it? I can't look away. Sure. Don't pretend you're not mesmerized too. See? You're so drawn to it, you don't even realize the danger. Danger? She sounds so Fire scared. Us, just like darkness. But darkness blinds with absence. With loss. What does fire blind with? Beauty. But sometimes, there's a greater beauty yet to come. Incredible. Fire is jealous, Chloe. It wants all the beauty for itself. That's why you need to be careful. Careful of what? Oh my god! Of getting burned. What the fuck? That's so creepy. That's horrible. <laughs> Life is strange. I've never been that morbid before. The crew was like pecking at his face. Oh god. The three eyed raven sees all. Is that Rachel? Chloe. Hasn't anyone ever told you not to fall asleep with a lit cigarette? You could start a fire. Bit late for that. So, are you gonna invite me in? Or what? Of course. I love giving rides to strange drifters. Hop in. <laughs> Thanks. Checking out my ride. What she got with her? Damn, you've been busy. It's nothing, just some junk I found lying around. 
A rainbow towel? A freaky red light? Holy shit. The all-seeing eye. <laughs> Figured it can't hurt to have the Illuminati on our side for whenever shit goes down. <laughs> that is true. Ahead. Chloe, this is incredible. I, I can't believe you found us an escape vehicle already. Escape? <laughs> like, for us to run away? Oh, I, I guess I wasn't thinking about it that way. Are you getting cold feet? I thought you were all bye-bye Arcadia Bay last night. I still am. I guess. You guess? It's not so easy. This truck doesn't even start, and we don't have any money. We can figure all of that out. I have no doubt. Besides, there's no rush. True. And no Blackwell. <sighs> Holy shit. <laughs> that Wells meeting. I'm so sorry. So I did try to def can't defend me. I actually expelled you. <laughs> Why not? No reason to prolong the inevitable. It's definitely Blackwell's loss. You covering for me was amazing. I don't know how to thank you. <sighs> Whatever. You tried to cover for me too. Tried and failed. <laughs> I guess we know who the better liar is. Or maybe my lie was the one <laughs> he wanted to believe. Yeah, he wanted to believe my lie. At least Wells has fucking no Ray, man. Down with us last night. Shit got pretty wild. Pretty wild. Rachel, that was more than pretty wild. You went absolutely nuts last night. What can she control the thinking? weather? I was angry. I didn't expect the whole stupid park to go whoosh. But now you're in on it too. Accessory after the fact. Unless you tell on me, of course. I'm no snitch. <laughs> I'd be way happier going to jail than having to live at home with Dictator David. Dictator David. <laughs> he announced his plans to move in this morning. Oh, Chloe, that's awful. I'm so sorry. You know what we both could use? <laughs> Therapy. Therapy. You start. Kick back and tell me what's bothering you. Dictator David! Ooh, getting cozy. Well, Doc. David. It's always There's David. This dildo with a mustache who's been dating my mom and now he thinks he's moving in with us. How do I stop him? Hmm. That's a hard one. I'm not sure there's really anything you can do. Then what the hell am I talking to you for? Just because you can't stop him doesn't mean you don't fight back. The resistance begins now. All right. You're going to need a new nickname to mark your enemy. Ooh. What have you got? What have you got? Step, oh, step douche. He's a uh, step douche. Because he's inserting himself where he doesn't belong. <laughs> also, he's a douche. Poetic. May I also suggest step ladder? Why That's pretty step decent. Ladder? Because he climbs on your Oh my god. <laughs> and pretty soon they'll be stepping down the aisle. What the hell kind of therapist are you? Sorry. It's called shock therapy. Highly controversial. Fire. So my new friend, who everyone thinks is perfect, did something that shit fucking nuts so last night. What do I do? This perfect friend of yours, who I'm <laughs> assuming is also an exceptional beauty, of course, sounds like she may have been inspired by someone new in her life. Someone who is also, may I add, a knockout in Ooh! the Getting flirty! Perhaps this friend of yours, who friends. I reiterate, must be just stunning, Needed someone in her life to teach her how to steal wine from yuppie picnickers. <laughs> we did how do that. To give a fuck, because she was tired of having to give so many fucks all the time. That makes sense. Blackwell, I've been booted from school, and I'm not entirely sure what to do about it. You mean how to cope with your feelings of anger and disappointment? 
Pretty much. No. I mean, how to express my feelings of intense joy. <laughs> uh -huh. Do you think you might be taking this a little too well? You tell me. I'd say I'm exceptionally well adjusted. I'd bet my therapist's license that no one's ever called you that before. <laughs> Touche, Doc. That was actually somewhat therapeutic. Thank you. It's always that was a, a short session. The mind of Chloe Price. And now it's your turn. Tell me all about what it's like being daughter of Arcadia Bay's most famous scumbag. It sucks. Oh, now she's all sad again. Too blunt? Sorry. I do that sometimes. Nah, I'm just... Ugh, I don't know. Can we talk about something else? Of course. Um... Truck! A truck's pretty fucking truck awesome. That might mean I have life skills, something I've really tried to avoid. Upshot, I'm closer to becoming a car thief. That's always That's a bonus. Badass. I know something to do with like, the wires, like underneath the steering wheel or something. I don't know. Something to do with that. <coughs> do you think there's a point when you've been acting so much that you don't even have your own personality anymore? You're just whatever you think other people want you to be. I think you have a personality. I wasn't talking about me. <gasps> me? My dad oh. doesn't really <laughs> exist. You saw him in Wells' office. The whole thing is a performance. And now I'm starting to feel like everything in my life is bullshit. But he's still my dad. How can I make sure I don't end up like him? Um. I won't let you. you Screw it. Just need someone around who likes you for who you are and isn't afraid to call bullshit when needed. Let me know if you find any candidates for the job. This bitch. Shit. It's time for the play. As if my life didn't have enough drama in it. Hey, I thought for you to be back in that play. You know you're never supposed to tell an actor good luck before a show. It's really? Is it bad luck? How is telling someone good luck bad luck? You're supposed to say, break a leg. That's dumb. Break hey, a leg. I, I was thinking that after the show, maybe we could go do something. Just you and me. But what about Elliot? Criminal. Criminally fun. <laughs> I'm in. Well, sorry, I guess I can't see you then. <laughs> May have let him on a bit, it's fine. It's for you. <gasps> Just a little survival kit Present. for life on the lamb. Drive safe, Chloe. What's in the bag? This cushion is so uncomfy, like, what the hell? Hello, Junk Shack. And this is where they spent lots of time, isn't it, hanging out? Yeah, I feel bad for Kirby as well. Mikey, I heard you got expelled. Sorry, yeah, I rolled a one against Wells. Get it? <laughs> Steph says you're a nerd. Yeah, well, I am a fucking nerd. Okay, Rachel, grabbing something from home, f uh, then I'll meet you at the junkyard. Well, hang on. Oh, um, here we go. Chloe Price, I don't suck. You really, really don't. My mum thinks I do. Don't know if I c can stand going home tonight. Still there? Grabbing something from home, then I'll meet the junkyard. See you really soon. You better. Time to check out Rachel Amber's mystery bag. Alright, let's put this up. I mean, she could have a worse place, to be honest. So 
Sometimes this chair really annoys me because I'm too short. My feet barely touch the ground. And it's just really uncomfortable to sit like that. Now let's hang everything up, make everything look okay. <laughs> I mean, that's pretty decent. I mean, we could have, like get rid of some of this other stuff. It's junk. It's time to talk about the elephant in the room. This elephant fucking It's rules. actually pretty decent. Let's hang this up. And what else can we do to make the place look better? We have no door, which is a bit of a <laughs> bit of a this problem. Right. Just clothes? No snacks? What the hell? Yes, I need those. Um, but. Snacks. <laughs> I'm a knee food as well, Rachel. To make a girl feel like exploring a new wardrobe. Ooh, what am I wearing? What else can we change into? Can we try all the outfits? This is the only one you can wear, supposedly. I guess it will do. I'm at the junkyard now. Okay. Um, I guess we should probably go and meet him. This. That's the woman we saw <gasps> Rachel's dad. Oh shit. What's she doing here? Weird. Yo, Frank. It's Chloe. Frank. I don't know the secret password, man. Is the password drugs? Christ. <laughs> I guess so. I guess the password is drugs. Where's this dog? His dog's so cute. I need to fill up my water again. I drink so much, but I have such a tiny bladder. Dude, it smells like piss in here. Shut up. Ew. You have a rough night or something? Every night's a rough night. I've got a notebook in the back somewhere. Go get it for me, would you? Who is that? What? Ah! What? God. Jeez, I guess man. we're leaving the junkyard. Get my notebook price. Then we'll talk. Is this his notebook full of like the code names in? No, I'm. Justin, dude, I heard you got expelled. Bad news. You mean good news? I'm stoked. Word. I'm home today. I finally got busted yesterday for smelling like weed. Mom, my mom's making me go to her book group. Oh man. But are you gonna replace the, the joint you stole from me? For Frank. How low can I go? Fight the power. Oregon, such and seizure law. <laughs> Hello, you're definitely not a meth lab and definitely not interested. Food spill. That's so disgusting. Oh, oh, ha. So Frank's a fellow survivor of Bigfoots. Betting slip. Twelve hundred dollars. That's quite a fucking lot. Oh, yeah. 
for the man who enjoys searing pain with his drive-thru order. Ugh. <laughs> what does Frank really need? Graffiti! Beer, TP, and milk. Work. No idea what she's gonna draw. Chloe's drugs. <laughs> nice one, Chloe. Computer, we can use that. What's that? I guess Frank subscribes to the hiding in plain sight. Don't mind if I do. Don't even fucking. Damn it! <laughs> How did he know? I guess Frank subscribes to the hiding in plain sight part of a balanced breakfast. We use his computer. Frank got a puppy. Hi there, my dog is three months old and he's still For peeing real? everywhere. What do I do? Thanks. <laughs> Puppies have accidents when they're scared. You have to scold your puppy. Thanks, but I don't scold him. Then why is she having accidents? Raising a puppy requires patience. If you cannot control yourself, please look deeply and honestly at whether you are really able to have a dog. What's your fucking problem, lady? I said I don't scold him. Wow, there's no need to swear. I think it's pretty clear now that you do scold her and worse. Blah, 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 blah. Rachel the therapist would have Dream a about cloud this. meaning. What age would dog eat steak? Pisshead music. Mila Kunis single. Cloud formation screensaver. Property insurance fire illegal. Arcadia Bay Forest Watch. Megan Fox single. How large was biggest cloud in history? Why won't puppy eat steak? Oh my god, these are amazing. Shit. The mill burned down. Frank, I went back to the mill. I shouldn't have. I'm fucking furious. Everything's burnt. Total massacre. Can't stop thinking about it. Dog didn't make it, that's 10k gone just like that. Plus the stud fees we had coming. RF and the whole crew are gonna be pissed. How am I supposed to come back from this with my fucking reputation intact? I can't think straight on this shit right now. I just want to find who start the fight and burn his fucking face. Jeez. That's an expensive dog. Frank, you like the dog? I thought you would. That dog is special, man. Callie's by wanted him and I said, fuck off, keep me 3k. I'm saving him for my buddy Frank. I mean, everything you've done for me adds up way more than 3k. Don't thank me. This is from me to you. Just let me breed him later. Okay. Where's the dog then? Frank must be spending hundreds of dollars. On <laughs> He's dog. just trying to feed his dog steak. <laughs> Oh my god. Do I really want to see Frank's bedroom? Probably not, no. Did we just leave that lady in the junkyard? That one looks grim back here. Where's the doggy? Hey there. Aww. Oh <laughs> my god, that's so cute! Oh shit! Pompadour! Get up here! <gasps> Pompadour! He's so cute! Oh, oh my killer. god! Don't stop! Oh my god, that makes me want to cry! Pompadour, you're so, such a good boy! Oh, <laughs> he's such a good boy! That actually almost brought tears to my eyes. I fucking love dogs so much. And beans. <laughs> Sauce for the man who enjoys. Look seeing, at the beans. That's an insane amount of beans. It really fucking is. Okay, what are we looking at? A throne fit for Frank. Because Frank finally gave up on the steak. Yeah. And poor puppy doesn't want steak. Wow. That pillow is definitely. Frank's knife. That swingy, flippy instrument of death. Honestly, that puppy just killed me. Old photos. Frank and his BFF. That's adorable. Okay, right, let's take the notebook. Is this what I think it is? Ah, oh, shit. Oh, shit. I'm in the red. We are 175. Drew 1050. Oh shit. To find out what Frank wants to discuss. He's gonna beat my ass. Um, hey Frank. Here's your notebook. Is this it? Have a seat. Pompadou, huh? That's one badass name for a dog. It's French. Oh 
French for what? Does it mean like tough guy or something? Do I look like I speak fucking French? <laughs> okay. So who was that woman? What woman? The one I saw coming out of your RV. Oh yeah, I meant to introduce you. Her name is Mind Your Own Fucking Business. <laughs> Okay, I want an answer. Rachel would want to know more. I bet I can convince Frank it's harmless to tell me. Dude, I'm just curious. What's the big deal? Idiot. I make money by being discreet. Um... Frank, you know I hate everyone. Who do you think I'm gonna tell? Come on, Price. I gotta protect my clients. Happy customers are the foundation of a good business. Dream Cloud! Hey, so... Uh, I had this dream the other night about a cloud that swallowed Arcadia Bay. You too? <laughs> yeah. You're I did not life, just read right? that up. We've got shit in common. Sure, I guess. So why are you so hung up on this chick? Um... Come on, Frank. This is Arcadia Bay. Gossip is all we have. To yeah, I think we got it. Woo! Ourselves out of boredom. I don't know. Come on, Frank. Come on. Talk, and I'll get my mom to make you something special. Like what? Uh. Um. How about that firehouse chili of hers. Sure. You got it. Why not? The woman you saw. Her name's Sarah. Showed up a few weeks ago. Causing all kinds of trouble for all sorts of people. Like who? It's a little out of your league, okay? But what kind of trouble exactly? Forget about it, Chloe. You shouldn't have opened my mouth. That's what you're giving us. My Thanks mom's making you firehouse chili. Telling me. Whatever. You hear the mill burn down? Uh-huh. Yeah. I, uh, heard some stuff about it. Crazy. My friend Damon runs the place. He lost a lot of money last night. Um, how about you? How about you? Did you lose anything in the fire? No. But I'll probably get pulled into whatever shit Damon's dealing with. No, right the dogs now. got killed in the fire! Lately, he's been doing some stuff that I don't like. I don't seem to have much leverage. Pompadou. Anyway, you I can't wait to get a puppy. Is this about the buck seventy-five? What? The money that I owe you? Oh yeah, yeah. No, I, I don't give a shit about that. Wait, you have it? Um, I'll get it to you later. Give me like another week. I don't have enough. I wonder if I'll ever get tired of your crap. Probably, yeah. You're lucky you're the least of my problems. Open my notebook. Last page. Should be some entries for a kid named Drew. You know him? <laughs> Drew North? Yeah, he's... Oh, holy shit. That's a lot of money. Drew runs Oxy for Damon. Apparently football players eat it like candy. That's smart, I guess. It pays well? Go Bigfoots. Problem is, Drew owes a grant, and he's not answering my calls. You know what's going on with him? Um, he's a douchebag, is what I know. Uh, he's an unreliable douchebag. No, this is the first time he's done this. Kid's actually smart. Anyway, here's the job. I'm taking you to Blackwell. Go to Drew's room, find the money, and I'll meet you to pick it up. Okay. Can you handle that? I suppose so, even though I've been, um... What's in it for me? Yeah, Expelled. of course. But what's in it for me? Idiot, you still own me. Ah, shit, yeah. In which case, so that's fine. if I do this, then we're good? That, and I'll do even better. I'll give you a 10% cut of the money. Woo! Okay. Yeah, sure. I'll do it. What's the matter? 
bit expelled. I'm not supposed to be at Blackbomb. I got expelled this morning. Congratulations. <laughs> it's easier for you to go on campus than for me. If you can't even do this price, no, no, we can do it. We can do it. Dollars closer to leaving Arcadia Bay with a bit of cash and the truck fixed. Rachel and I could really do it. We could leave for good. I'll do it. Good deal. Right, so somehow we got to get onto campus without getting caught. Steal someone's money for the boys' dormitory. Dormitory? Dormitory? Get the money to Frank. And then we can get money to escape from Arcadia Bay. I bet that would go smoothly as as we hope though. Didn't think I'd be back this soon. What, the same day? <laughs> it's a bit soon. Well, here goes nothing. Oh, we got a text from Rachel. Back at school yet again. They've got some tents up for dressing rooms. So what are you up to? I'm here too, actually, running an errand for my dealer. Oh, really? So bad? Come see me when you're done? Yeah, for sure. P.S. I saw that woman that your dad was with coming out of my dealer's RV. What? Apparently she's causing trouble for a lot of people or something. Her name's Sarah. Sarah? Rachel? I think maybe I prefer not knowing her name. Oh, my bad. No, it's fine. See you soon. Better. Oh, wait. Oh, God, that's the wrong button. That's also the wrong button. Um, I meant to do this. Elliot. Hey, don't worry about being expelled, okay? Wait, hang on. Tempest is going to be awesome, like awesomely bad, I mean. It's going to be hilarious. Hey, don't worry about being expelled, okay? Dude, I'm fine. There's still two characters we have to meet. And we've read all these before, haven't we? Have you read these ones? I think we've read some of them. You know how, th how things my mum seemed like they couldn't get any worse? How the sad truth is, I suddenly have to choose between being nice and being honest with her because I can't be both. But how can I keep being nice and pretending like she didn't make a horrible choice with the moustache? And why am I the only one concerned about this hostile takeover of our house? Today it's a toolbox and a pot roast. Tomorrow it's... I shouldn't stop there for sanity's sake. And yeah, I know mum is stressed about the money issues, but that just doesn't justify her horrible taste in men. Also, mum knows I've been skipping, which sucks. I think we've read that one. So then Masha asked Jamie to school today. Yup, that's what my life's become. Even worse, he thought the ride was like a tell me how things are going to be from now on opportunity. You'll be proud of me. I kept my mouth shut like a good little girl. Or a good little serial killer. There's more than one way to skin a David. <laughs> Had a dream about that again. The one where I was there when it happened. It seems to get harder and harder after each of these to remember what's real and what's not. All I can remember after I wake up is how much I miss him. I hope that never goes away. Have I ever told you about Nathan Prescott, aka Spoiled Dick Baby? Anyway, you know that old question about what if you could go back in time and assassinate Hitler? Well, I worry I just stopped that assassination when I got between Nathan and an ass being beaten and an ass beating by Drew, football jock and all round angry teenager. Maybe I'm being soft in my old age. Spoke to Elliot too, he was super nice as always, he wanted to hang out as always, and I was non committal, as always. Poor guy, he's super persistent, it must be hard trying to give a shit about me. Speaking of giving a shit, I actually played a game of Steph and Mikey this morning. It wasn't terrible, but I'm not sure I have the energy to consistently care that much about anything. I probably should be concerned about how little a shit I give these days, but that I'd been giving a shit, wouldn't it? There's quite a lot of these guys, sorry. You're thinking, when is she finally going to 
to talk about Rachel Amber. Fine, you nosy bitch. Here it is. Rachel Amber is the most popular girl at school and she's super into hanging out with me all of a sudden. Like this morning when she pulled me into the drama lab and asked for my expert opinion about true love in front of the whole class. I told her true love is bullshit, of course. Mr. Keaton and the drama teacher actually seemed to agree with me. Then Rachel brought me into her dressing room. Gotta say, that's the quickest I've gone from meeting someone to helping them get dressed. But that's Rachel. She doesn't give a fuck. She just lets it all hang out. Literally. Then Rachel has this crazy plan for us to skip school together. That involves jumping onto a train. You know, like kids ditched in the 60s? The 1860s? <laughs> Stay tuned, Max. I have a feeling there'll be a lot more to tell you soon. Did you ever play Two Truths and a Lie? You would have been terrible at it. We would have called it two truths and oh god, can I take it back? Sorry for lying, please, the guilt hurts. <laughs> two truths and a lie should be a class in school. I feel like I learned a lot. For example, Rachel's ambidextrous, she's a Leo, and she's from California. I also learned that I still have lots more to learn about lying. Rachel wrote me like an open book. She called bullshit on my made up cat allergy. Basically, she's a human lie detector. Have I mentioned that we were sitting on a train? It was pretty cool, sitting there and watching the world fly by. Then we jumped off it and wound up in some crazy ass park north of town, NBD. Um, I don't think there is any mods in the chat at the moment. Casey, okay, so do you mind if I make you a mod for a little bit? Because I don't think there's any mods in the ooh, in the chat. Okay, with all the spakes, spa <laughs> Shakespeare shit going on, I thought I'd write you a sonnet. Then I realised that rhyming is hard and nothing really rhymes with Rachel. Which, which seems fitting given that I've never actually met anyone like Rachel before. With Rachel, everything is a game of some kind. I had to use my breaking and entering skills to get this viewfinder working so, just so we could spy on peeps at the park. Rachel was hilarious for making up this dialogue for them and I actually held my own riffing on some dad and the son of the grill. After we watched some old couple suck face, Rachel decided it was high time we unsobered ourselves, so we hatched a plan to steal some wine from these yuppie picnickers. And since it was Rachel, the plan involved elaborate acting and more improv on my part. I killed it once again. I'll still never be caught dead on stage, but this type of acting I can get behind. Our hard earned wine in tow, we journeyed forth in search of more fun and games. I got you, Casey. What do you made you on? Okay, sorry guys, there's quite a few of these, but I really actually enjoy these. <laughs> uh, I don't even know, I don't. First off, was your money on Chloe Bows? This and goes back to having no friends again. I hope so. How did I fuck it up? One moment I'm having the day of my life. The next moment I'm awkwardly confessing feelings for her, like some dog asking the head chili dough to the prom, and she blew me off, because of course she did. But wait, that's not all, because as soon as Rachel leaves, I find a car, my dead dad's fucking car. This twisted, shattered, ugly reminder of what used to be my life that I smashed up, obviously. And then I passed out and had a dream where my dad told me to find Rachel back at the park and Rachel set herself on fire. But enough about me, how was your day? Another letter to Max. <laughs> that made me jump. That seen. made me jump. At least journal Max won't abandon me the way real Max did. When did you decide you were done with me? I mean, how did you know it was time to move on? I asked because Rachel and I have decided we're both done with this shit town. We've had it. It's bye bye bay. But instead of just ghosting it like someone I know, we're gonna leave a trail of destruction in our wake. For Rachel, that means burning a fucking forest down. I know, crazy. But guess what? I'm pretty crazy too. I'm not unrelated news. In not unrelated, unrelated news, I finally got my ass kicked out of Blackwell. But at least I managed to keep Rachel from getting booted from her play. I should probably be more upset about being a high school dropout, but I'm not. It's just another chapter of fuckery in the story of my life. So yeah, burning bridges literally and academically, that's how you make an exit woman. You ever hated someone's gut, but then later felt bad because you found out they're actually cooler than you thought? Yeah, me neither. David got it inside his douchebag skull that he needs to start cracking down on me, which means demanding I empty my pockets for him in the Blackwell parking lot. I went along with it, but just to make him look like a fucking idiot, I added the fucking there in front of mum since I wasn't holding. I guess it backfired because now David is moving into my old house. I say old house because if he's there, I, sh I sure as shit am not. Oh, I also bumped Elliot. He's super into me still. Everyone wants a piece of price. You can't blame him. Ever been to therapy? It's actually kind of awesome. And I don't mean writing down your feelings and hugging and crying and shit. I'm talking about popping open the hood and getting your hands dirty. Rachel's awesome at it because of course she is. We talked about my mum, David, the fire, my expulsion, 
Rachel didn't want to talk as much, but I got her to open up. I'm glad I did. By the end, everything, I don't know, seemed a little less broken, I guess. Speaking of, I felt this gnarly truck that I started fixing up. Who knows if I'll ever get it running, but for now, I'm glad to just... I'm glad just to have a problem I might actually be able to solve and maybe an escape vehicle. Stay tuned. Fixing trucks and fixing brains. Who needs to go anyway? Final one, guys. Do not worry. How do you know when it's time to take a relationship to the next level? I'm talking about my drug dealer, Frank, of course. He wants me to do a job for him, picking up money from Drew North. You know, Drew, Blackwell's premier, premier jockstrap, and now apparently Oxy dealer. Dude, I'm... Ugh. Dude's in pretty deep, it seems. But it should be an easy job, and besides, I could use the money for mine and Rachel's escape fund. Which, speaking of Rachel, guess whose skis will dad side piece I saw coming out of Frank's RV? I pressed Frank for info and learned that her name is Sarah and she's only been around for a couple of weeks. Oh, and she loves the drugs. Weird. Alright, I'll make a triumph every time to Blackwell. At least I'm getting paid to go there this time. Whew! You tell him, Casey! What would I buy if I had enough money to build a whole dorm? Probably not a dorm. Yeah, probably not a dorm. Oh, what? Wet concrete. Okay, we can't go certain areas. It's just sort of annoying. Don't particularly want to sit down either. Steph! Hey, Steph. Whoa. Hey, Calamastia. <laughs> Surprised to see me on parole? I told you Wells was out to get you. He actually that really fucking is. a rare courtesy, by the way. I don't normally get involved in other people's dumb decisions. Thanks, I guess. Thanks for trying, but skipping yesterday was totally worth it. Skipping with Rachel Amber does have an appeal. Well, yeah. So what are you doing here? Just seeing the Tempest, you know? <laughs> I figured I'd see the Tempest. For real? You? Yeah, I know. It's not really my thing. Uh, <laughs> kind of hoping it's a shit show. What the hell? I'm the stage manager. Uh -oh. <laughs> oh, I think I knew that. My bad. You better mean it. Honestly, the show's really good. It's worth seeing. Well, I gotta pick up some drugs money. I'm sure it is. So obviously, Rachel's yeah. fantastic, but everyone else is pretty impressive too. You get to see a totally different side of everyone, especially the guys. Uh, no thanks. I'm a I'm okay. a lesbo. <laughs> now you just unconvinced me. Why am I not surprised? <laughs> yeah. Well, good luck with all of that. We're Maybe into Rachel, we'll okay? Her. We don't care about hey, any guys. I wanted to ask you something. Shoot. I've been planning to make a move on Rachel, but <sighs> What? You two were together. What? Make a move. So, are you? Uh, um, I mean, that's Rachel's business, or maybe yours and Rachel's business. God damn, everyone, male and female, is after Rachel. I'm honestly not even sure. I'm. Uh, I, I don't know. It's, it's confusing. Yeah, I, I can imagine. If you ever want to talk to me, Chloe, you know you can, right? I'll see you later, Steph. Have fun Trying to steal my castle. woman! What the hell? What the hell? Just... End of faith discussion group. Nah! Steph's probably biased, but... She does have taste. Maybe the show will be good. Yeah, but we're busy. We've got to pick up some droogs. Oh god, the creepy guy. The cool bird. Evan's subject for the day. Better you than me, bird. I don't particularly like speaking. <sighs> like, which was Evan? Okay, I thought for some reason this was the weird handyman <laughs> guy, but it's not. Me. Don't worry. Conserving water since never. Hey, Evan. Okay, then. What are you doing here? Well, that's you slightly to rude. Be at home thinking over your endless list of questionable decisions? Dude, why do you care about my questionable decisions? It offends me when intelligence is wasted. <laughs> Dude, you just call me intelligent? 
I guess that kind of compliment. Wow, Evan looks really ridiculous. Yeah, let's just say nothing. There's no point in mocking him. Uh huh. I've learned something about myself recently. Something that I think you might understand. I've learned that if I'm passionate about something, it's probably the right thing to care about. Forest fires, for example. You were the only person who signed my petition. Oh my god, I did sign it, didn't I? Seriously signed it. That's pretty sad. I'm a low bar, but did you really expect people to care? People are so eager to pass on responsibility to anyone else so that they can live comfortable, unworried, and ultimately meaningless lives. You see what happened? Yeah, mm, I guess. <laughs> Looks like you were right. <laughs> Go, Evan. You're a hero of the people. I know you feel like I do. A about different things, I'm sure. But you only give a shit about what you give a shit about. I like that. A Pretty anyway, much. I don't care about anyone's here. opinion. You should leave. Oh, okay then. Well, I thought we were friends, Evan, but now you just told me to leave, so I will see you later, you dickhead. Oh, what's in here? Oh, hey. Hey, Samuel. Keeping busy? Samuel's the creepy one. Always, Chloe Price. I didn't think you'd be returning to these hallowed halls so soon. <laughs> oh, he's so I. creepy. I have the feeling it wasn't uh, the books or bricks of Blackwell that led you back. <laughs> what? <laughs> what? You're here for someone. A special someone, yes? Rachel. We're here for what Rachel, okay? Rachel Amber? Rachel Amber is a dragon made of diamonds. <laughs> That's, uh, deep. <laughs> do you just make this shit up on the fly, or do you, like, write it down beforehand? Are you angry all the time because oh my you like God. the way it feels? <laughs> or is it merely a desperate defense against experiencing true intimacy with others? Samuel's going deep right now. I'm, uh, looking for Drew North. Most look at Drew North and see only the athlete, but he is more than He's that. He's also a drug he dealer. A great heart he has, with much love and no room for fear. I've always thought he was kind of a bully. He may be that, too. No one is just one thing. Elliot. So, uh, what about Elliot Hampton? Have you seen him recently? I only see what Elliot wants me to see. Okay. okay. <laughs> Usually I can see both what people want me to see and what they want to keep hidden. What do I want to keep hidden? And, uh, what, what do I want to keep hidden? That you are lonely and afraid. That's not true. I don't say fuck that's you. That's a bit mean. That's not true at all, man. It's okay not to be okay. Damn, this first. is getting proper deep. I've got to go, man. Uh, <laughs> it's been real. Yeah, that's one I word for it. I wonder what real is. Farewell, Chloe Price. Bye, Samuel. Nice talking to you. Okay, right, let's go into the dorms and try and find... Who graffitis poo? Like, where is the imagination? You didn't even draw it. Locked. Oh, come on. How am I going to get in? Looks like my options are become a master lock picker or... Swipe someone's keys. Hey, Steph. I, I I need to take your keys. We can look through a notebook. Maybe her keys are in here. Why, yes, Chloe. Oh, okay. <laughs> Steph's really good at creating fantasy worlds. I can see why my love is bullshit. Pretty much. I need someone's keys. 
Maybe this guy, Evan. Oh wait, he told me to fuck off. Maybe Steph will give me her keys. Let's go speak to her. I'll see you at the Tempest. Okay then. No keys for me. Evan! Evan! Hey Wesker! You shouldn't be on campus, Chloe. Oh for God's sake, how am I gonna get in? How do I get into the dorm? Oh, keys. In which case... Bingo. If only those keys were unsupervised. What's Samuel working on? Uh, the sprinklers? Right, let's go sabotage the sprinklers somehow. Kick some dirt on it. If Samuel's working on the sprinklers, some damage here might get his attention. But Evan is right there. God damn it, Evan! Um, ASMR, like proper, proper ASMR? Hey, Evan, do you want to fuck off? You shouldn't be on campus, Chloe. Let's get rid of the bird. Bird, fuck off! <laughs> hey! <laughs> Sorry, Evan! Shit! I wanted you to go the other way. Like, as far as possible, the other way. I need to scare it again. No, it came back! Time oh. for a fresh start. Okay, so maybe go this way. <laughs> Here we go. How is Evan not getting pissed off? I'm just fucking scaring this bird. Okay, I need you to go this way. <laughs> One small flight for this bird, <laughs> a giant leap backward for Chloe Price. If you're not interested in watching this series, then you can always, you know, watch another one. Go away, bird! No! This is a freaking nightmare. Evan is just still there. Almost there. Where are we sending this bird to? Was over here okay? Yes! Gotcha. Did it! Oh, perfect. You're welcome, Evan. You're you are welcome. You're I welcome. I meant to do that. <laughs> I meant to do that. Okay. Right, let's back up the sprinkler. Hulk smash! Awesome. Now I just have to wait for Samuel to turn on the... Oh, God. That works. Oh, no, the sprinkler is broken. Whatever will you do? Yes. It's working. Right, let's go grab these keys. Yoink. Sorry, Samuel. Yeah, there's so many right. keys though. Time How are we going to figure out which show. one's which? No time like the present. It's like 10 billion keys. Chloe? Uh oh. <laughs> <laughs> hey, Skip. How's it going? Not that it isn't great to see you and all, but. What are you doing here? Just chill him. Didn't you just get expelled? No. Oh. <sighs> visiting a friend. Relax. I'm just uh, visiting a friend. I, I can't. I, I really can't just let you go in. I'm going inside. I'm going inside, dude. You're just going to have to let this slide. I don't think I can. In fact, 
I think I have to ask you to state your official business. Did you not believe I have friends? Blackwell property. Oops. <laughs> I hate to do this to Skip, but I've got to get inside. Maybe if I make him really uncomfortable, he'll feel guilty and let me pass. Let's do this shit. What's my official business? Women's business. Women's business, Skip. As in, my uterus? I need to use the restroom. Glad you asked. What? No. No, it's my job to ask, Chloe. You're going to lose your job. If you keep violating students' personal rights, you're going to get fired. Oh, it's not like that. Do you know what Wells would do to me if I didn't, you know, patrol? Is Wells pressuring you? Is Wells pressuring you to write more students up? I'm not even a student, but sure. Don't let that stop you. I thought we were friends. We are Where friends. From? I thought we were friends too. I, I thought we were friends too. But when the man comes down on you, you come down on me. Is that it? Look, look, look. I am really sorry, Chloe. I'm just so confused right now. Just look the other way, Skip. I didn't know what you wanted to do then, I guess. Criminal. I just need to use the bathroom. I, I don't know what to do. Just let me pass. Seriously, my uterus is on fire, dude. <laughs> is that... Uh, descriptive enough. I don't want to know about. En fuego utero. <laughs> en fuego utero. I don't know what to say. I'm so sorry. En fuego utero. Matthew. Huh. I'm here. I've gotten reports of an unknown vehicle in the parking lot. The oh. RV. Thank God. Oh, I'm on it. I won't tell Wells. Do what you have to do, okay? And Fuego Utero. Frank. I'm about to jump you now. Oh no. How's it going? Have you found it yet? Chill out, man. It's been like five minutes. It's been 20. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm on it. Hurry up. I'm getting there. Right. Let's go. I mean, why could he just let me in? Why could he just let me in? Oh. We should... Should we have left those there? Or do we need to get into Drew's room as well? And that does not seem like a good idea. Because we need the keys to get into Drew's room and steal them dollar dollar bills for Frank before they get kicked out of the parking lot. Hmm. Alright. Which one is Drew's room? Okay. File with the update. File now 50% contained. Cool. Ah, so many memories here. Guess I'll never see my name on one of these. Okay, so where is he? 110. I senior year anyway. <laughs> Thou shall not pass. Oh, is Ellie in here? Ooh, scholarship letter. I knew Elliot did well in class, but I didn't realize he was here on a full ride. I've never been able to get Elliot to play for me. I guess he's either really good or <laughs> really bad. Ooh, what's in his desk? I'm expecting him to have a photo of me somewhere. Love Chloe, not me. Photo. Wow. Fucking told you! I remember this show. Crazy that Elliot would hold on to this picture after so long. What's this? That's not half bad. When she left the room, was electric, flushed wings, taught with agony. Okay. 
I see in her in the brick and mortar in a fresh cut grass, eyes flashing bright like coins. The fairy men can't have her, I say, but the dark gods laugh. Who is it that Elliot's writing about? That moment when the sun is almost set, the sea is so welcoming and warm, when pooled light smooths the nodding waves, when shapeless cod infinity conforms to one stark plane. And for a moment only, all is possible. All say yes, my heart says yes, her eyes say yes. Elliot is... Way more they see her but don't see her how is that so when all the world is negative and dark and she cries out a screaming rocket trailing fire <sighs> wait are these about me and they're definitely about her <laughs> oh, how childish is she how lovely and how cruel her black knife spilling words and dripping ink elliot love you elliot's mom seems nice Aw, hey sweetheart, just got a letter about your scholarship and I couldn't be prouder. I've been showing it to the whole family. Your grandmother just said, of course he did, he's my grandson. Also, your father called again about July 4th. I told him it was too early to decide that you're focused on school right now anyway. But if you want to spend some time with him this summer, of course I'll support you. Don't break too many hearts over there. Oh, classic mum. Lucky Dana. Yo, Elliot, you got English with Dana Ward, right? What's she like? I think she's hot. Say something cool about me to her, but not like I told you to do it. Thanks, bro. Warren Keep Graham. it smooth. Such Warren! A... Warren! <laughs> You're so wrong. I'll grant you, Edward made some awful movies, but so many even more awesomely terrible movies came out after Plan 9 from Outer Space. It's called The Worst Movie Ever mo Made. But have you seen Night of the Lepus? What a bunch of space zombies compared to a giant carnivorous rabbit. Huh. There's way less porn here than I would have thought. Guards of Hell Book 3, Illuminati I meaning, Major Lucas Hampton, The Tempest Tickets, The Tempest Quotes, Chloe Price, Chloe Elizabeth Price, Chloe Elizabeth <laughs> Elizabeth Price, Arcadia Bay, oh, Elliot Hampton, Arcadia Bay, How to Tie a Tie, oh, he wants to impress me, how sweet, shame I'm a lesbian. The world breaks everyone, and afterward, some are strong at the broken places. Why does that make me sad? It's a pretty sad quote. That's why, Chloe. Elliot does work really hard. A plus. I Damn. Guess I'm happy for him. I wonder if we can go into Warren's room. It's been so long since Elliot and I actually went to a concert together. What are these up here? Like figurines? They're pretty fucking cool. I want some figurines in my room. Right. We need to find. Drew's room, which is 110. But I want to see if I can break into anyone else's room first. Where's Wa Where's Warren's room? Okay, we can't sort out our on fire uterus. Poster. I want to say that half the fun of weed is knowing it's illegal, but I think it'd be just as awesome over the counter. I mean, it's alright. Went to Amsterdam once and it was pretty decent, not gonna lie. Can we go out here? Okay, no, this is the only other place we can go. Yeah. Uh, You're a beast, I need to talk to you, Zach. Definitely Drew's room. Should we knock first? I feel like we should knock first, check no one's in there. Okay, we're good. Let's go. Must be so cool to live in a dorm like this. This place looks pretty grim though. Good. <sighs> Drew's not here. Okay. <laughs> if I were Drew, where would I hide my money? <sighs> in the is Oh money in shit, there? it's locked. There should oh, be a key right. code somewhere. Guess I have to crack a four digit code. A sticky note. A lot of numbers on here. Um, Would Drew really use something like this for a lock combo? Maybe one two one two, because it's four numbers, isn't it? <laughs> they look so happy. Ah, I'm guessing his little brother's been staying in here. Mikey's figures. <laughs> playing that game yesterday was actually. I, I really fun. enjoyed playing that game. <laughs> oh, I want to play it in real life. Looks like Mikey's been staying here with Drew. We might have failed to kill you, Durgaron. Durgaron tells me Mikey bad guys don't usually look so obvious, but this is Sergeant so awesome. Blood versus M M Maniac. Uh, 
Awesome. Doctor Time bought the Jurassic edition. Athletic form. Plenty of possible combinations here. Oh god, 1996 and 1992. Um, shit. Uh, what's this? Letter. Holy shit, Drew. A college scholarship? Damn. No wonder you're so into The football. dream. Hmm. I wonder exactly how important 516 is to Drew. Let's look at his computer then. I didn't realize Drew was this good at sports. I bet he can't wait to get out of Arcadia Bay. Dear Andrew, congratulations. In light of your incredible achievements as a high school football player and a student, I'm pleased to accept an official scholarship offered to you. A University of Oregon degree is one of the most prestigious academic institutions in the Pacific Northwest. We truly feel that you're a student athlete who has the potential to make a powerful impact on both our team and our student body. As the head coach, I'm here to assist and support you on your journey to success. The details of this scholarship offer are as follows. Hello Chris, thank you so much for your consideration and the generous scholarship offer. I regret to inform you that I've chosen to attend Oregon State in the fall. Thanks for your time, Drew. Frank wasn't lying. Looks like Drew sells happy pills to his fellow meatheads. Hey bro, do you have any more happy pills? I'm beat as hell. You saw me take that hit for you last night, right? No one gets in my boy's grill on my watch, but hook me up, will you? So I'll just take the edge off is all Some I need. Some folks are shit out of luck around here. Drew, At what an amazing game, prospects. son. Couldn't believe that third quarter conversion. You've got the moves, no doubt. I spent the day at the library again. Computers aren't my thing, you know that. But I'm trying to learn. There's a remedial skills class Mikey made me promise to take, so I'm going to do that next. See about learning how to type worth a damn. Never had to type on a fishing boat, taking me forever to finish this email. Prospects for work are rough, but you know how it is. Don't worry about your pops. Keep your eye on the damn board. There's nothing that'll stop you. Oh, I'm proud of you. P.S. Give Mikey a hug for me. I'll be by tomorrow afternoon to take him to the clinic. Don't forget. I'm not actually a lesbian. Chloe's a lesbian. So there's so many codes... We can try. Um, A lot of let's try on here. one two one two. Would Drew really? One two one two. Damn it! Wrong numbers. Was it nineteen ninety six? Damn it! Was it nineteen ninety two? Damn it! Damn it! Ah! <laughs> Wrong numbers. Damn it! Wrong numbers. Um, football poster. Look at that. More numbers. 11, 20, 36. Hmm. That's six numbers. I wonder exactly how important 516 is to Drew. That's only three numbers. I need more. Uh, hang on, two, two seconds, guys. Two seconds, I'll be right back. Sorry about that. My housemate just knocked. Anyway. There's a knock on the door and we're all confused about who it could be. Hopefully no one to kill us. Huh, I'm not sure what Holy shit, Drew. A college scholarship? I'm not sure what the numbers could be. No wonder you're s hmm. Ah zero I wonder exactly how important hmm. I wonder exactly how important five Okay. Let's try this. Zero five Hey Did what? My ah! actually need some help with this one. Twelve twenty-seven. Damn it! That was on the form as well. I put nineteen ninety-six because that was the year Mikey was born. One two two seven. Uh, worth a shot. One two 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 seven. Yes. This is kind of fun. Ah. Did little Drew beat you up too? 
cute little teddy. <sighs> Jackpot. Yeah, we got the money. I'm kind of good at this. Right, let's take these dollar bills. Okay, got the money. Time to bust out of Back it. to Fran. Oh, shit. Hey, Elamon. Hey, Elamon. What are you doing here? I'm looking for Drew, man. I was <laughs> looking for your brother, but uh, he's not here, so... So. Bro, we gotta go. Oh shit! Yesterday wasn't enough. You want to go another round? Doesn't matter. Mikey, get your stuff. Let's move. Drew, relax. Slow down. Who is shit? Isn't that Frank's best friend? Who is that? Who the hell is that? No one. Stay in here and don't say anything, little brother. Whatever you do, don't open the door. You know what's going on? Damon, you shouldn't have come here. School's not the place for this. Really? Where is the place to collect my fucking money? Shit. I told you, I don't have it. Sales are down, man. Nobody wants to get high right now. But look, it's spring season. We just started two a days. Those are gonna kill us. I'll be able to sell all the oxy you've got. Drew, you owe me a grand. Where is it? I said I don't have it right now. I heard about your dad's job, by the way. Tough time. This is really intense. Yeah. Bet a grand would mean a lot to him right now. Where's my money? I don't know what you expect me to do. I can't just make money appear out of thin air. Oh, I want my fucking money. You don't have to hit me, man. I'm gonna. Uh, Where is it? Uh, Please, just give me one week. Uh, You're just going to lie there. I thought football players were supposed to be. No, 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 no. Sorry to have to do this, kid. No uh, one steals from me. Uh, no one. Fuck. Fuck. Oh, come on! I don't know what to do! I don't know what to do! This is a really tough decision. Um, give Dame the money, stay with Mikey. Your brother said to stay inside. It'll be okay, Mikey. It'll be okay. Damn, you are one tough kid. Because the thing is, he yeah. has the money. He knew he had the money. Good luck running on that knee now. Bye bye, football. Oh my god. Well, I'm done. Get my money. Or. Maybe it'll be your little brother. Because he could have given the money. He had it in his chest. He knew that. So that's why I stayed with Mikey. Uh, uh, Drew! It's, it's okay. I'm okay, little brother. Thank you, Chloe. Thank you. Oh, come on. These decisions are fucking difficult. Uh, here, it sounds like you could use this. You took this from my locker? Frank asked me to. I, I didn't know. I, I'm sorry, man. My dad, he, he needs this money. Way more than that asshole does. 
Thanks. Drew, you need to get to the hospital. <sighs> Don't. He's got to lose a scholarship as well. Okay. Yeah. No. No way. What? Um. What are you going to do? <sighs> About Damon? I don't know. I feel really bad now. I feel like I should have stopped it. One day at a time. But mm -hmm. he knew we had the money, so I thought he knew what he was doing. <sighs> How annoying. God damn it. Maybe I made the wrong decision there. Oh well, it's done now. You can't go back in time like you can in Life is Strange first season. Yeah, I fucked with Frank as well, but he needs money for his dad. <laughs> That's such a difficult decision. God damn. Frank gone hate me. And we missed the play. So we sort of ditched Elliot as well. Even though he brought tickets, I'm basically a bad human being. Wait, has it even started yet? Day has been so messed up. Chloe, I'm on my way to the hospital. Mikey told me what happened to poor Drew. I'm still stunned. Thank you for what you did. Thing is, that if I had left the room, he might have started beating up on Mikey. Like, there was no really correct thing you could have done. Drew stole me. Drew told me to stay inside. He could have started beating on Mikey. We would have lost some money to Damon. They'd have no money for his family. So, you know. You know, I tried, okay? I tried. Okay. First, I jacked Samuel's keys and used my Jedi powers to get past Skip into the dorms. By which I mean talking about my lady, but silly freaked out and let me in. Took a brief detour to Elliot's room and read his poetry. Dude's got feelings. For me, I think. I'm flattered, I guess. Anyway, I found the cash, but then Drew and Mikey showed up. Followed by Frank's psychopath boss, Damon. Fuck, remember that easy jump of Frank I told you about? Yeah, not quite. Have you ever met someone that you just knew never to fuck with? I hadn't until today. Damon started beating the shit out of Drew for the money he owed. I stayed with Mikey like Drew wanted. It was horrifying. I think Damon actually broke Drew's knee. After I gave Drew the money of holding it for Frank or giving it to Damon, I felt like the right thing to do. It was all so, so, so fucked. And the most fucked part that I had anything to do with it. Okay, right, let's have a look around here. After all the work Steph did, it's amazing that she would drop everything to be there for Mikey. I mean, there's only five things, really, so... <laughs> hey, Dana. Hey, Dana. Did Doug dig David's garden? Or did David dig Doug's? Did Doug dig How David's garden? Or <laughs> okay, or oh, someone speak to us. Rachel, how's your super long errand going? Yo, Chris, you happened in Drew's room. Like, really bad. Oh no, are you okay? Do you need to talk about it? Yeah, later, don't worry until the show is over. I'm backstage. Great, on my way. Thought we weren't allowed <laughs> backstage. Whoopsie! Hey, Mr. Keaton! Sup, Mr. Keaton? Why, if it isn't the muse of the Blackwell Drama Department. Tell me, young lady, do you still believe true love is a lie? Yeah. <laughs> For sure. The only person you can trust in this world is yourself. Everything else is just hormones and fairy tales. 
A cynic's wisdom takes no prisoners. Budding dramaturge, may your propitious appearance counteract the tragedy of Stephanie Gingrich's sudden recusal. An emergency, she says. Uh -huh. Word. No idea was what that meant. The light board, but platitudinal though it may be, the show must sojourn for Do you want me to do it? <laughs> that dude is weird. Can't be that difficult, right? Swords! I've seen what happens when Rachel plays with fire. Rachel plus swords should be fun. Light board. Okay, we'll go to that after. Hey, Hayden. Hey, Hayden. Address me as Ferdinand, good lady. Okay, Ferdinand. Go fuck yourself. Uh, <laughs> Alright, um, hey, Ferdinand. Sup, Chloe. I mean, sup, fair maiden. <sighs> Great uh, method acting. Really? Thanks. <laughs> okay, what's back here? Boys changing tent. Oh, okay. Thanks, but no thanks. I want to play with this. Chloe Price presents Firewalk. <laughs> Laser Light Spectacular. <laughs> Amazing. Well, that was fun. I hope everyone appreciated that show. Okay, we've looked around everything out here, so... Rachel? To the tent! No! Ah! Not Victoria. What's she doing? Spiking Rachel's drink? I wouldn't put it past her. Oh my god, she actually is. Whatever that was, it was shady as shit. I need to find whatever Victoria slipped into that drink. Frank, oh no. I just talked to Damon. He said he hadn't come... He, he said he had to come down that hard. Down hard, didn't see what happened. Did you find the money price? Where's the money? This is serious. Quit fucking around. Unless you're dead, reply. Let's be tomorrow, have answers. Oh no. Oh no. Wait, we came out. What's in here? Costumes? Damn! <laughs> okay, purse. What's this? Adding putting on makeup to the long list of See me or Mr. K for makeup kits. I'm not Ooh, until God, I that made me jump. <laughs> I'm just having a cheeky look around. I haven't seen this much spandex since <laughs> mom made me go to that Zumba class with her. Zuma's actually pretty fun. Even though Steph's not wardrobe here, and makeup by six p.m. Down the law. Dragon mask. Hey kids, who wants to dress up like Big Bird's fugly cousin? <laughs> I wouldn't be caught dead in this. Okay, this mask is actually pretty sweet. I want to wear that mask. I hope Rachel gets to wear it. Don't worry, we'll be checking the purse. I'm just doing everything else first because I want to. Do an in-depth playthrough and show you guys everything. Only the finest child slave labor for Victoria Chase. <laughs> okay, let's look in the purse. Huh. Victoria Chase is actually a pretty talented photographer. What is that piss me off so much? Because you don't want people you dislike to be talented. Oh, that's a cute photo. Ugh, fucking Ray. What was it of that guy in birds? Muscle relaxers? Oh, 
Like switch, switch the teas, switch the teas. Before your tea gets. <sighs> what are you doing here? This area is for cast and crew only. Um, I'm here for Rachel. I'm here to support Rachel. How nice. I want to make sure she's relaxed before the show. <sighs> Whatever. Don't let her drink the tea. Oh, Rachel Amber, it was customary among the thespians of ancient Greece for the understudy to offer hot tea to the lead actress on opening night as a way of showing appreciation for her tutelage. It is in that spirit that I offer you this beverage. May it help to reveal the essence of your talents for all to see. Wow, that, um, thanks. Um, tell Rachel. <laughs> Wait up, Rachel. Bitch, dosed your tea. Excuse me? How dare you? Victoria, could this possibly be true? Uh, of course not. A dropout Chloe is clearly directing her misplaced anger at me. Why don't you drink the tea then? I'm sorry your life is a mess, but it's not my fault, okay? Hmm. Chloe. Victoria is my friend. She would never do anything to sabotage me. Um, then she should drink the tea. Then she should prove it. Drink the tea. What? I wouldn't dare insult Victoria's integrity. Oh, come on! Then again, if that's what it'll take to convince you that Victoria is a good and caring person, fine. Drink come the on, tea. Vic, put drop out Chloe in her place once and for all. Drink the tea. Oh, happy? So happy. <laughs> Whatever. If you're done accusing me of things, I'll just be on my way, bitches. Bye! <laughs> wow. Saved my ass again, Price. All in a day's work. And this has been a particularly batshit crazy day. Oh, hey, uh, that's mine. The tower is a tarot, you know? It symbolizes sudden change. I always pegged you for the dramatic type. I blame the company I keep. <laughs> Sweet buns. We're ruined. The show is ruined. How Victoria passed out? That was quick. What's well, happened? Dear young artists, a misfortune most unkind has befallen us. Juliet is waylaid. That infernal inferno is the culprit, closing down the roads and robbing us of our aerial. Would that she could but manifest on her master's whim as a true spirit. Alas. What is this guy on about? <laughs> the situation is a dire one indeed. I'm afraid we may have to cancel. Great, I got spell for nothing. Truly, we are a cursed lot. Even my prodigious imagination cannot conceive of a worse turn of fate. <gasps> <laughs> <laughs> Stupid Victoria. What? Uh, uh, oh, no. Mr. Keaton. No. Chloe could step in for Juliet. No fucking chance. <laughs> At least the it's clear. <laughs> no. The cynic. She's the right fit for Juliet's costume. I am a cynic, damn she it. Is indeed. Tell me, my dear, have you ever acted before? Hell no. She's being modest. We play improv games all the time. And she's fantastic. Oh, at it. God. What if I told you that the entire fate of the production rests upon your slender shoulders? I'd say you're super fucked. <laughs> Chloe, please. <laughs> For me. God damn it. Damn it. 
that. <laughs> oh god, I love this game sometimes. I can't believe Rachel's talked me into this. Okay, well, now we're a pretty bird. <laughs> oh my god, this is amazing. I seriously have to memorize all of this? Oh hail, great Thanks, mistress I come, Rachel. to answer thy best pleasures. I boarded the king's ship in every cabin. I flamed amazement. The fire and cracks of sulphurous roaring the most mighty Neptune seemed to besiege and make his bold waves tremble. Not a soul, the king's son of Ferdinand, was the first man that leaped, cried, Hell is empty and all the devils are here. Oh my god. Not a hair perished and, as thou bast me, <laughs> I have dispersed them, bat the island troops. Is there more toil? Let me remember thee what thou hast promised. My liberty. That's my noble mistress. And exit. And you're done. No, that's not too bad. Elliot. Clever, it's just starting. We've got great seats. Where are you? Oh, you'll see. <laughs> this is going to be amazing. Yes. Wait, should I have taken more note of that? Oh, shit. <laughs> Maybe I should have taken more note of that. Oh, no. I should have taken more note of that. Oh no. I was fucking By about. Accident, most strange. Bountiful fortune hath mine enemies brought to the shore. Here, cease more questions. Thou art inclined to sleep. Tis a good dullness, and give it way. I know thou canst not choose. Come away, servant. Come. Ah, shit. I'm on. Um. Uh, that's you. I am ready now. Get up there. Shit. Approach, my Ariel. Come. Damn it. No problem. I would die in your life because it's me. I just walk to Rachel and say my line. I wish I could throw that at Rachel for getting me into this. <laughs> that looks so comfortable right now. Ugh, it killed my eyes. <laughs> um, <laughs> we're just walking around I'm on stage. Definitely supposed to do something with this. Hey, I'm Dana. Her part. Just dead. Yeah, that'd be great. Okay. Hey, um, Rachel. <laughs> All hail, great mistress. I, uh, I come to answer thy best pleasure. Most fearless, generous spirit, hast thou performed to point the tempest that I bade thee? I boarded the king's ship. I can't remember. In every cabin, I flamed amazement. The fire and cracks of sulfurous roaring, the most mighty Neptune seemed to besiege <laughs> and make his bold waves uh, tremble. My brave spirit, who was so firm, so constant, that this coil would not infect his reason. Uh, not a soul. The king's son, uh, Ferdinand, was the first man that leaped from his ship and cried oh it's either hell is empty or hell is here cried <clears throat> hell is empty and all the devils are here yes yes <laughs> are they ariel <laughs> safe all right i guess this is when i'm supposed to walk somewhere I'm definitely supposed to do something with this. Oh, okay, shit. Point! Not a hair perished. And, uh, as thou baddest me, I have dispersed them about the aisle. Oh, I can't remember! In? Loops? By all the... Gods in heaven. I can't remember. Juliet, get in here. 
Ariel, thy charge exactly is performed. But there's more work. More toil? Is there more toil? Let me remember thee what thou hast promised. How now? What How now, brown cow? Thou canst demand. Liberty? <laughs> My liberty. Indeed. Yes. Thy liberty? Nay, this most of all I will not grant. Th that's not her line, is it? What's going on? But thou hast promised! But thou assured my freedom, didn't thou? I never said how dearly I hold thee. My habit's been to keep my soul well draped. Most loyal spirit, companion, and friend. Is acting in my service not replete with excitement, amusement, and delight? Of course, mistress. Most truly, it is so. Mr. Key, they're way Shh. off script. It's magical. Then why, I pray you, wish you to be free? Excitement's a mere counterfeit of bliss. These storms and these adventures, I prefer to know thou still cared for my plainest self. I have thee in my grasp. I will not bend. I will not see thee flying forth alone. The envy would be more than I could bear. So come with me. So come with me. Is that not in thy power? Spirit, take my hands, most faithful friend. For but a little longer I beseech. Continue in thy service to my schemes. And when they are complete, I swear to thee, we shall fly beyond this isle. The corners of the world are mere prologue. I'll seek to make thy happiness so great that e'en the name of liberty is forgot. What sayest thou to my most hopeful wish? This feels like an engagement going on right here. Yes, I am most pleased. Your duty done for now. So go forth hence with haste. I've work to do. They're all so skinny. Thanks, Chloe. Well done. An admirable effort. Thank you. And the ending, absolutely transformative. I am humbled. <laughs> no problem. What the hell just the happened? Of your Was soul that real? Heaviness in me. Shake it off. Come on. We'll visit Caliban, my slave. Tis a villain, sir. I do not love to look on. He does make our fire, fetch in our wood. What ho! Slave! Caliban! Come forth, I say! On! <laughs> Why doesn't he want to go on? Uh, mm. As wicked do as e'er my mother brushed. Thou poisonous slave! God! The devil himself! Filth as thou art! I have lodged thee in mine own cell. Till thou didst seek to violate the honor of my child. Shit. He's crying. Fetch us in fuel and be quick. So, slave, hence. Oh, it's Nathan, isn't it? Why is he crying? Fuck you. I have no idea what's going on. In the air? Or the earth? Oh, thank God. This play is super intense. What is it? A spirit? 
It carries a brave form, but it is a spirit. I no love this way. music. It eats and sleeps and hath such senses as we have. I will resist such entertainment. Put thy sword up, traitor. Do you love me? Oh heaven, oh earth, bear witness to this sound. I beyond all limit of what else in the world do love, prize, honor you. His tears run down his beard like winter's drops from eaves of reeds. Go release them, Ariel. My charms I'll break. Their senses I'll restore. And they shall be themselves. Now my charms are all overthrown. And what strength I have mine own. Pray, release me from my bands. With the help of your good hands. Why is he bowing? You just told him to fuck off. <laughs> Where's my invite on stage? So dead. <laughs> How dead? Hella dead. Hella dead. <laughs> God. <gasps> it's the bitch. Why is she watching the play? Crazy lady. Close bow was super awkward, yeah. <laughs> that play was mostly awkward when it was my turn. I couldn't remember. At least I got two out of three lines right, I think. It's only one line I got wrong. And considering I barely looked at the lines, I was just reading them, you know. Didn't even read the script, really. I just read only my lines. I, I didn't do too bad. <laughs> oh my god, Keaton's face behind you when you walked on stage? <laughs> I was shitting myself. In the dead of night, I laid you in my sleep. He was shitting himself. <laughs> that dude owes me. In the morning light, you wake up next to me. Like a dream come true, I'll take you where I roam. And far. My dear, what if I told you that the entire fate of our production rests upon your slender shoulders? <laughs> <laughs> I've never had an experience like that on stage. Yeah, right? You were no, you. Like, seriously, I love nights after a show. <laughs> Is it always like this? Oh, totally. It's such a high. No more nerves, just the adrenaline. So, first timer, are you proud of yourself? I think I did all right. Yeah, I feel really awesome. If you told me this morning I'd be this happy tonight. If only Joyce had seen. You've gone through so much shit today. Right now is pretty good. Okay, the whole show was good. I admit it. Yeah. <laughs> it was magical. Hold her hand. Oh, <laughs> so sweet.
I really hate Rachel's fate now I've got to know her better. Like the first season, the fact she died, didn't really care that much. <laughs> didn't know her well enough. But now I know it's really sad. Let's do it. I know. I've been thinking about that all day. But that was Don't say it was just a crazy thought. You mean it. I can tell. You want this. Yeah, but like eventually. Let's go now. Didn't we already agree on stage? We can't just <laughs> Why not? Money? What about money? I thought you were a high rolling criminal now. I gave the money away. I collected the money Frank wanted, but then I gave it back to Drew instead. It sounded like he needs it more. No shit. But man, I'm not looking forward to what Frank has to say when he finds out. We'll figure it out, Chloe. Anyway. I've got more than enough to start us out. I always get birthday money for my dad. Or should I say, hush money. Does he know that we know? Any more questions? Parents? I know our parents have been shitty, but we can't just leave them. That doesn't sound like Chloe Price. What about Joyce? She's already lost. She's already lost. <laughs> I'm the only good one old dad, my mom has good old Popsy. Left. You're right. What am I saying? She's got David now. I wish there was option. Get a car? Because I wanted I to explore options. In the I was just seeing if I could. Well, can you or can't you? Maybe. I actually have no clue. <laughs> Maybe. It's not like I do this all the time. You'll figure it out. But you don't even know what shape it's in. I don't need to. Because I know you. And I know what you're capable of. In other words... Do you think maybe Jake the woman that's having a affair with some, has something to do with Rachel's <laughs> death? Oh, I don't know. There's got to be something more here. Where are we going? <laughs> you tell me. What uniquely twisted location does Chloe Price plus Rachel Amber equal? Hmm. <laughs> the open road. I'm feeling like an indefinitely long road trip. That sounds like I've always wanted to go on a really long road trip. Anyone's ever thought of. You and me driving down the coast, filling up our truck with hilarious souvenirs and Every night, we'll find a different beach to walk along and watch the sun. Ooh, sounds romantic. And one day, you'll be at a gas station fixing the brakes, and some guy with no shirt on will come up. <laughs> yeah, okay. He'll be like, that's so hot that you know about cars. And I'll say, back off. <gasps> She's with me. You're Are we official shit. now? <laughs> <laughs> I love this time of night. <laughs> Don't you just... Feel like everything's possible. <laughs> Rachel, stop. Why? Wow, she's only dancing no, in the road. It's, it's, it's just making me feel like shit that this life you're describing isn't going to happen. For fuck's sake! I've never I already am twenty-one. Serious in my life. <laughs> <laughs> <sighs> Chloe, what would it take to convince you? Ah, uh, a kiss. How about um seal the deal? Oh. Now I'm going to get the steam on a tide. God damn it! <laughs> Is that 
convincing enough? Yeah. <gasps> now they're full on making out! Rest in peace, ad revenue. Oh, it's so. It's snowing! Oh my god, so cute. Or is it least? I can't tell. Either way, it's cute. Holy shit. Wait, it's Ash. Is it Ash? <laughs> what is this stuff? I think it's Ash. I think it's a sign. I think we should leave tonight. Really? If you want to, I'm ready. Let's go sneak some clothes and stuff from my house. For you or for me? I gotta say, my clothes look damn good on you. Cool. Let's do it. Oh, she just cracked her knuckles. And then Ugh. we'll get the hell out of Arcadia. Oh, it's so sweet. Uh, that sounds perfect. So cute. Well, I still haven't fixed the car yet, so. Damn, that's a nice house. Jesus. Are we going to go into a house? They're going to find us? I have a feeling we're going to get caught. And they're going to stop us because we never actually left Arcadia Bay, did we? Which sort of really sucks knowing the future. I sort of wish I hadn't played season one yet. <laughs> oh, God. Having played season one and knowing her fate just makes it really sad. Jazz music. Ooh, that's when you know it's fucking fancy. Oh, you're home. Rose, Rachel's home. And she, um, well, this did friend. not go well. Our star returns. You're just in time. Dinner's almost ready. Chloe, was it? Um. It was or it is? It is? Nailed it. I must have been pretty memorable. You were. I get the sense that you're used to making an impression. Rachel, oh, they seem quite nice, honey, though. You were resplendent tonight. What about me? Thanks. Chloe, you must join us for dinner tonight. Uh, um, she must? I must? Of course. I made chicken a la king. I'm sure you both That does sound pretty decent. Appetite. I was... Just leaving. Thanks, but I, I was just gonna stop in for a sec and then bounce. Oh. Did you have other dinner plans? Sure, yes. Dinner plans? I always thought dinner was something that just sort of happens. Chloe, I know we didn't exactly meet each other at our best this morning, but with you and Rachel becoming such fast friends, friends. I insist you join us for dinner. Don't you agree, Rachel? Yes, of course. Chloe, would you join us oh, for God, dinner? Oh god, this is going to be so Please. awkward. Uh, <laughs> of course. Great. I just need to wash off. Don't leave me! I'll be right down. Don't leave me by Don't myself, please. In the meantime, perhaps you can help me with the table? Oh, please? God, she left me, didn't sure she? Sure thing, <laughs> Mrs. Amber. Yeah. This is gonna okay. be great. I'm gonna go pack. After dinner, we can make our break. You cool down here? Sure. We're cool, oh, man. Totally. We're cool. Your parents love me. They're good at coming off that way, but 
Don't let your guard down. Okay, guards up, um, guards up. Chloe, we just need to make it through dinner. Try not to say anything. I mean, I guess we're getting a good meal know, before we hit the road, you know. That I would normally say. Exactly. Just some quality time. Oh god. Oh, staff members. messaged me. I heard you were the Tempest. Yeah, I was kind of a big deal. I believe that everyone says the show was awesome. You got medals for two good deeds today. Drew's okay. Michael text you an update in a bit. Oh shit, tell them I'm both I'm pulling for him. Okay, what can we actually go upstairs? Wrong. I should stay Damn it. until Rachel is ready. They want to look at Rachel's room. Guess not. They have indeed Storm Rider. Award shelf. Huh. Rachel really was an overachiever before she met me. Glad I nipped that in the bud. <laughs> so supportive, Chloe. Family photo. Rachel and I both had great childhoods. Mine just ended a little before hers, I guess. I mean, her parents don't seem that bad. Like, at least her mum. Obviously, her dad's a cheating fuck. Improve. We can improve a crossword. Um, literal. I have no idea what she's doing. Solved it. <laughs> They're sure gonna love you for that. Jesus Christ. Um, what else can we look at? The sink. So clean. I bet Rose would kill it with my mom at the diner. What's in your cupboards? Oh shit! Yeah, skeletons. Lots of shiny dishes, though. Ooh, Mikey. Steph's. Oh no. Hey, Chloe. Drew's out of surgery, in pain, but okay. Holy shit, Mikey. I'm so sorry. It's okay. You stuck with me. Plus, you saved our money. We owe you. Wish I could have helped more. Hey, Steph says you're in the play. What? I've had a busy day. Most heroes do. See, guys, I think I made the right decision. I think they made... Oh, I made the right decision. News article. Something about this photo doesn't seem right. I should fix it. <laughs> Can't tag this. Whole Rachel's mom is right there. Damn it. She totally bust me. Right, what can we do to get her away? Recliner. Sit down in the recliner, have a little seat. Oh, that's quite nice, actually. So, this is what normal looks like. It's somehow way more boring and way weirder. Normal is, in fact, boring. What else is around here? Easy to see who wears the literary pants around here. Legal digest. Ooh! Sounds like a fun read. Guess some families actually go to Paris instead of just talk about it their whole lives. Fire. Ooh! Holy shit. That's the guy who attacked Damon me. Damon Merrick. I know I did the right thing, giving Drew his money back. Spectre of larceny, extortion, distribution, assault, robbery, side. murder. But, and Sarah! Sarah's part of it! <gasps> the, what are you making out of her? If you know she's fucking part of it! What are you doing? They say all news is local. But, damn. Hey, James! Hiya, Mr. Amber. Chloe, what can I do for you? Um... I we all to ask about Sarah, but we probably shouldn't. <laughs> Thank you. And you can't anyway. We're fond of her as well. You ever feel like she's so awesome at everything that you just wanna shake her? <laughs> yeah. Well, that's awkward. Uh, me neither. So, you're a district attorney, huh? I'm your district attorney. So Sounds I can great. call you if I'm ever district arrested. <laughs> What would you be arrested for? Um. It was a joke. Not a good one. He okay. is no fun. He is no fun. What do you think? I thought Rachel was 
perfectly cast. She certainly was. We're very proud of her. I had no idea they were going to do that. Do what? I don't know the name for it. Uh, reverse casting? Casting a, a woman as a man? Oh, I just what? meant the wizard part. Uh, I have no idea what I they're on about. That's also true. Okay, bye, James. Duty calls. Great <laughs> chatting Wait, with you. Chat, Mr. Amber. Mm hmm. What a douche, man. And Jesus. All right, how do I distract her? Let me speak to her. Hey, Rose. Hey there, Mrs. Amber. Chloe, I'm so glad you're joining us. Tonight. Mrs. Amber seems quite nice. So, huh, Rachel was pretty awesome tonight. Yes, she was. Though, to be fair, she's pretty awesome every night. I wish I were half as driven when I was her age. Me too. She's driven to leave this place. <laughs> I get the sense that you're a force of nature yourself. I can see why the two of you get along so well. You can? Because it still seems crazy to me. Mr. Amber. Integrity, honesty, loyalty. Being a boring twat. What? It's on your lawn. Oh, right. Sorry. <laughs> she doesn't even know her husband's like motto. Uh, what's it like being married to the DA? Didn't know what to pick there. Much like being married to anyone else, I imagine. Except your husband's but cheating on you. More secrets, right? Oh yeah. Secrets? Hinting, hint, hint, hint. Like attorney-client privilege and all that. Well. As district attorney, he brings cases against criminals on behalf of the state. He doesn't defend them. Of course not. So, you putting me to work, or what? Yes. If you could please take four plates from the cupboard and set them on the table. Uh, what if I can't? Excuse me? You said if I could... <laughs> oh uh, no, Chloe! Why? Chloe. I'm a fucking riot. All right, Chloe. <gasps> you've set the table without ruining someone's marriage before. Oh god, that was to the table with you. cringy as fuck. Right, let's go set the table. Come on then, off we go. Oh, what's this? Wall art. Oh, I think that's an original who gives a shit. I could fucking draw that. Damn. Wonder if this is a family I heirloom. find clocks ticking at night are so bloody creepy. Why are we opening this? I don't know. Glasses. Damn. The embers are sparkly. Are we taking some of these? Nope. Okay, right. Let's set the table. You're welcome. Beautiful. Mom! Um. Ah! Ah! <laughs> ah! <laughs> okay, let me just... I'll wait till it finishes. Okay. Chloe, Justin Williams' mum just called me. While you're in the play tonight, I would have liked to see that. It kind of just happened. I know it was last minute. I'm glad you're doing well. It would have been nice to see you tonight. You're coming home. Please, Chloe, I miss you. <gasps> oh, it breaks my heart. Okay. Oh, we got some more. Okay. Just when I thought this day couldn't get any more dramatic, wait, let's back up. I guess you tried to jog Rachel and jack her roll. Don't worry, Rachel and I turned the tables on Victoria and gave her a taste of her own medicine, literally. Sadly, the drama doesn't end there for me. Stupid Juliet got caught in the stupid fire and now I... Now I... Let's just say there's exactly one person in the world who could make me dress up in a funny costume and act out Shakespeare in front of an audience of all my least favourite people. And she happened to be next to me at exactly the wrong moment. Chloe, the fuck my life. So, I survived, just in case you were worried about me. You totally weren't. But it wasn't easy. I had to remember what to say and where to go and not to flip up everyone in the audience. Not gonna lie, I totally killed it. Once I got past the stupid makeup and the blinding lights and just let myself get lost in it all. I guess acting is really about forgetting the rest of the world exists and being completely in the moment. When I'm with Rachel, somehow that becomes easy. 
We ended up creating a new story together on stage, a much better story, because this one ends with the two of us escaping the island and sailing off into the sunset together. Take that, Shakespeare. Will real life turn out so awesome? Time will tell. Time is told, and no, it turns out that real life is not like the stage. It is so much better. We're leaving. Tonight. Boom. Peace out, Arcadia Bay. We're hitting the open road. A destination unknown. But who cares, as long as it's far from here. I didn't believe Rachel at first. It's not that I don't trust her, but she tends to get swept away in the moment. Let's just say she erased all doubts. Wait. <laughs> what, you need me to draw your map? We made out. As awesome as you may imagine making out of Rachel Amber sounds, believe me, it was a bajillion times awesomer. After a quick stop by Rachel's house, we're headed off. Next time you hear from me, I'll be an ex-Arcadian, just like you. Just like you. Um, I've set the table. <laughs> yeah, this episode's really long, that's why I streamed it. Let's set yes. the table. It's the play. Yeah, uh, what did you think of the play? Rachel was typically amazing. But I never liked The Tempest. What did you think of it? To be honest, I only really read a couple pages. God, that like Fear's sound of cooking really is making me so like hungry. It. I guess I'm not so into saying words someone else came up with. Fair point. Then again, I'm not sure you can judge the entire art form based on the dead white men your curriculum focuses on. <laughs> Damn. Shots fired, Shakespeare. What next? Plates? Check. Anything else? Actually, could you be a dear and ask Mr. Amber what he'd like to drink with dinner? I will a be a dear. fucking suppose so. Talking to James. As long as I can avoid using the words cheating and scumbag, <laughs> we should be fine. <laughs> we could try and avoid that. Should I don't know, know if we can. What would you like What's to drink? Advice, Mr. Dickhead? Amber? I'm sorry? Your wife wants to know what kind of drink you're having. Ah, let's say sherry. Okay. Isn't that a Christmas One, drink? Two, three, sherry. <laughs> oh my um, god, these jokes. Oh, they kill me. Chloe, maybe you can help me understand something. I'll mm -hmm. give it a shot. Rose and I, we're worried about Rachel. Yesterday was so unlike her. What do you suppose is going on? Um. Besides you? <laughs> Hard to say. Maybe she's rebelling against something. Or someone. What would Rachel have to rebel against? Like... We've given her everything she could ask. Probably for. cheating on your wife. Yet I'm not sure I buy the narrative you laid out this morning in the principal's office. Rachel is not known for following along with anything she doesn't want to. I'd be lying if I said I didn't have concerns about your friendship, but friendship. perhaps you're exactly who Rachel needs right now as she navigates the choppy waters of adolescence. Okay, then open your uh, fucking newspaper again, you rude. Thanks. Rude. Okay, we have a speech thing now. Maybe we can speak to her again? Yes, Chloe? Sherry. The boss man would like a sherry. Thank you. The glasses are in the china cabinet. You can place one at his setting. I'm basically How a slave at this point. China? <laughs> Kidding. <laughs> a fancy These are cabinet, such dad jokes. Right? I fucking love them. You got it. Dad jokes are the best. Right. Let's get one of these fucking thingies. Uh, it's the triangle shape one. Basic shapes. <laughs> now you're speaking my language. Okay, let's place this. I'm guessing he's at the head of the table. Yep, of course. Of course he fucking is. Ta-da. Okay, we have another speech thing. Well, I guess we're gonna go back to Rose. Yes, Chloe. Anything else, else? for your slave to do? Like I'm getting good at this. Only one last step. 
As our guest, you may do the honor of lighting the candles. The lighter is in the it's cool. I've got my own. Oh. <laughs> you never know when you'll need to light a candle. Right? You are a paragon of preparedness. I, I really am. Thanks. I really fucking am. I think. Time to light some candles and finally. Yes. Mrs. Amber has her back turned. I was waiting for this. Time to fix this photo. Uh, Frankenstein's monster. Got it. <laughs> Amazing. They got a note to me. Ooh. We have missed some. God damn it. There's one more person we still need to meet. Okay, right. Candles. Oh, here they are. Alright, let's light these bad boys. Lovely. The family and fire. What could possibly go wrong? Okay, here we go. Here's the dinner. Let's get comfy. Seems like a very awkward dinner. There's not much talking going on. So, Chloe, are you and Rachel in any of the same classes? Um, I wish. I wish. Rachel's all honors. I'm still trying to get into remedial... What's it called? Vocabulary. What? what about that fire? <laughs> <clears throat> Dinner's really good, Mom. Thank you, Rachel. The way the fire spreads so fast. God, this is such an awkward I've thing. Never heard of anything like it. It's scary. Yeah, it's scary. After those floods upstate, I was overjoyed we had less rain this year. Who knew a spring drought could be even more dangerous? You never know where a deadly spark will come from. Yeah. <laughs> it's certainly troubling. The latest report from the commissioner's office suggests arson. <gasps> arson? Why would anyone uh -oh. do it? Any number of reasons. With everything going on in the world today, even a town like Arcadia Bay isn't immune to the ills of society. I cannot imagine how difficult these last few years have been for you, Chloe. Now that you and Rachel have become friends, I want you to know that oh, I'm almost friends. always open to you. <laughs> cool. Thanks. Well said, dear. It's imperative in such troubled times as these that we remember what is most important to us. Family. Family's Especially not when you're cheating on your wife. It is a responsibility. As such, Oh god, she's gonna lose it. She's gonna lose it. And never, ever taken for granted. Ask her it. Enough of this asshole. Rachel may have to take it, but I don't. Whew, let's do this shit. His daughter and wife against him at his own dinner table. <clears throat> I'm not sure I agree, James. Oh, I thought you of all people would be grateful for family, at least. Grateful dead end. Gratitude seems like such a nice luxury. I can't say I've had the privilege to afford it. That is an excellent point, Chloe. We must always be sensitive to the way our privileges shape our perspectives. Well said, Mom. Still, there must be some room for personal responsibility. I hope we don't fuck this sure up. I agree, Chloe. My dad was super responsible. He always drove under the speed limit. Then one Ooh, day, a truck sensitive came along spot. and turned him into a super responsible pancake. <laughs> responsible pancake. See, this is why it's so important to invite diverse voices to converse with one another. It's absolutely stimulating. Yeah, this conversation really is stimulating. Hmm. Highly stimulating. Since you have answers for everything, Chloe, perhaps you'd like to enlighten us. With some of your hard earned wisdom about the world. Um, 
Sure. I believe that we should look closely at everyone, especially the people in power, to see what secrets they're hiding. Very well articulated, Chloe. I am consistently impressed with how politically aware your generation is. For me. Chloe <laughs> is an excellent <laughs> articulator. Excuse me, dear? But if this is what passes for politically oh my God. aware these days, we're in serious trouble. Right. James, that's unfair and also rude to Chloe. No, I don't believe it is. It seems clear that these points Chloe is making are merely veiled attacks on me. No cover up here. I keep everything on the level. Unlike this one guy I know whose name rhymes with Schmames. Shmamba. <laughs> Don't worry, Mr. Amber. I can tell that my progressive attitude is not welcome in this house. I'll see myself out. James, Chloe is right. You owe her an apology. Yeah, apologize. No such thing. I believe she's willfully acting belligerently just as she did this morning. It is how people like her respond to adversity. People like her? So we're profiling now? This is what eight months in the DA's office has taught you. You tell her. Him. My office is committed to fair and equitable treatment. Yes, I've read the press releases. And yet Excuse I'm not getting me. any. Are you calling me a hypocrite? Ha! Huh. Rachel! I can't sit here and listen to this bullshit anymore. Rachel! Stop it, Dad. You're a hypocrite. Okay? I know. You lying, cheating, yes! of shit, motherfucker. Excuse me? We saw you yesterday at the Overlook. James? Kissing that woman. James. Rachel, honey, whatever you saw or think you saw, I know it's hard, but I need you to trust me. Think we saw? We think definitely we saw. saw. Are you trying to gaslight us? There's no thinking involved. We saw you locking lips with some other woman. Best part is, she and I use the same drug dealer. That's enough. You are not welcome here or around my daughter any longer. I know exactly what kind of person you are from the moment I saw you. And I let my wife's compassion get the better of me. Oh? What kind of person is a that? A delinquent. A broken girl from a broken home. Damn, son. That's enough, James. I will not have you. Uh oh, shit. Uh-oh. Why can't you just tell me the fucking truth? Stop lying. Stop being a politician for one fucking minute. Can't you just be my dad? Rachel, that woman you saw, that wasn't my mistress. He's working on a case, isn't he? Because we that saw her photo. was your mother. What? What? I mean, they do look alike now. I think about it. Shadow settle on the plane. But still, why is he making out with her? Our minds are troubled by the emptiness. Destroy the middle. It's a waste of. I'm not sure what that subtitle is there. From the perfect start to the finish line And if you're still breathing, you're the lucky one I love this song Cause most of us are heaving through corrupted lungs Setting fire to our He crossed off the list though, Frank did
broke my chest And if you're in love Then you are the lucky one Cause most of us are bitter over someone Setting fire to our insides for fun To distract our hearts from ever missing love That was such a good episode! Oh my god, a very long episode, Jesus Christ, three hours, 20 minutes. Damn. Sorry about that subtitle glitch, by the way, guys. That was a, yeah. I want to see our choices. Okay. 81% of us took the blame for Rachel. 60% of us emptied our pockets at David's request. 71% of us stayed with Mikey. And 75% of us asked Rachel for a kiss. So I was pretty much with the majority for that one. We didn't uh, we didn't talk to Elliot about the play. You refused to start over with David. You put the same amount on the dashboard of the truck. You didn't pay off your debt to Frank. See, only 2% of people paid off the debt. You didn't tell Steph that Rachel was single. You returned Drew's money to him. Oh, shit. Okay, we're in the minority for that one. You didn't give Samantha advice. You confronted Victoria before the play. I didn't know I could speak to Samantha. You told Rachel you'd like to go on a road trip. And you attacked James at dinner. Shit! 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 <laughs> and I'm guessing that is the next episode, guys. Damn. That was an amazing episode. I was not expecting that twist at the end. I thought basically James was trying to get in with this woman to get details about the guy who beat up Drew. I can't remember his name. Is it Carson? I don't know if his name's Carson. But that was such a good episode and I'm so grateful for all of you who have stayed and watched the whole 3 hours and 20 minutes. It makes me really sad that we didn't get to know Rachel on this level in season 1 because like I said in season 1 I didn't really care that she died. I'm not gonna lie I was very more concerned over Max and Chloe but now I've got to know her and she seems like such a nice person and her and Chloe no her, not her and Chloe yeah her, her and Chloe just fit so well and she's there for Chloe when Max wasn't and damn damn son thank you guys for watching the stream and giving it likes and stuff but um yeah that was the stream if you enjoyed, remember to leave a like. I'll be streaming on Twitch. I don't know if I'm going to stream Twitch later today because I want to record some more South Park for the channel. But I'll definitely be streaming... Wait, what's the day today? Ah, tomorrow is actually my day off from streaming. So I'll be back Saturday on Twitch if you want to see some more streams. And I will see you guys then. Thank you guys so much. Bye! Mwah.